Hello, my fellow Eclipse survivors. Know we're all facing dark times with the millions dead. But we'll get through this together. I'm here for you. I don't know how we all made it. <laughs> but somehow, by the grace of God and our fingers crossed, we're the last ones remaining on this, on this wretched, cursed, gay earth. Who would have guessed as the light's going out for a few seconds would have been all that would have taken. They warned you to not look at it with your eyes. They warned you, and you didn't listen. You know what, that might not be a bad idea, for, bad way to start up a zombie apocalypse story with an eclipse. Why not? As everyone, like, gets zombified, they don't look at it with that little piece of cardboard over their eyes. You only got a 47% eclipse. Uh, like I said, I was not in the path of it. And it was very cloudy out today, so even if had it been directly overhead, wouldn't have been able to see it. I got to see one a few years ago, though, so I'm good. I'm willing to let the old middle America have theirs. We're the last of us, we're the last of us yet. We all now gotta, like, kill the people we hate. In Minecraft and Roblox. We only, we only live because I sacrificed my neighbor on a blood altar. I made on top of the apartment. Uh, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> you might want to not might not want to be admitting that in a live stream. <laughs> you might be liable. Uh, I don't really want to be bothered to have to testify against you. You're watching in a trance. The chat is certainly nothing left to chance. Oh, this is, these are song lyrics, aren't they? Uh, send me up a drink. Okay, uh, what song? What key should I sing this? And I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a problem when you read song lyrics in a Twitch chat. Unless you recognize them, you're always like lost on how you're supposed to be singing it. Then it just sounds goofy. Very, very goofy. They forgot the glasses. I remember having to share a pair of glasses with a bunch of my co-workers on the, the solar eclipse I saw. They said to pass them around. Anyone get superpowers during the eclipse? How did they actually convince people that the, the eclipse was dangerous? I don't get it. Have we grown that gullible that people can be, you know, now convinced that a thing that happens every year and has been happening for thousands, for, well, for billions of years is now suddenly dangerous? Did people just forget that eclipses are a pretty common thing? Did you watch the eclipse? It was not okay, not the best. I've seen one before. I didn't ha it didn't reach where I'm at. It's just, I, I've been kind of, you know, mesmerized by the amount of, like, Fear posting, I've seen of people like afraid of like, what's going to happen during the eclipse? Uh, it'll get dark for a few seconds, then get bright again. That's what'll happen. You look at it for five hours. Well, if you look at the sun for any length of time, more than a few seconds, you're going to burn a hole in your retina. Some people think that in the Hadron Collider thing means a rapture. The Hadron, what's the Hadron Collider thing? Is there something that happened at, like, the old, uh, the collider over in France I wasn't aware of? Didn't some people think the rapture was going to come? Uh, people have been, I, I feel like the rapture gets claimed it's happening every year. There's always some crazy enough pastor out there who found, like, a period misplaced in a passage of his Bible and thinks it's a sign from Jesus that, yeah, it's going to happen tomorrow. Any minute now. And he's like, oh, yeah, I mistranslated. It's actually going to happen two years from now. So check back with me then. Your streams are so chill, that's what I aim for. I'm not like your uh, drama tuber or like a controversy. I'm, I'm not all like you're making fun of my peers. I'm not punching down, punching sideways in my own reflection. <laughs> and occasionally taking a few hits from chat. But you know what? Chill is. I like it when people say my stream is chill. That just means it's a comfy stream, but not in that gay way. <laughs> All right, Chad, uh, we have to reclaim the word comfy from women and gay people. They've, they've taken it. They used it for too long. We, we, uh, what am I doing? I don't know. Look, everyone gets to use the word comfy, all right? Everyone does. It's a universal, like, positive feeling. Reclaim, reclaim the comfy. Uh, but well, I'm, I'm just kidding, by the way. Take whatever words you want. I'll just come up with new ones. Super comfy. There we go. I'm super comfy. CERN started the Hadron Collider today, the same day as the eclipse, and that was right for conspiracy. 
You know what? Sometimes I wish I was a conspiracy nut because they live in such an interesting world where not only are they the main character, they are like the central figure fighting back against these like incredibly evil powers that are way more interesting than the mundane things we have to actually deal with. If only I could have been born with that psychosis. To believe that lizard people are like all the politicians. Chemicals are sp sprayed in chemtrails in the air. Microwaves and 5G is like rotting my brain out and turning me into a mutant alligator. And uh, apparently eclipses the Large Hadron Collider and who knows what else is some kind of plot to kill everyone. These people are snake oil salesmen. There's quite a few people that are that gullible though. Quite a few. And there's a lot, apparently a lot of money to be made. <laughs> Chad, this, that's the, you know what? I know there's already an RPG, and it's one of my favorite RPGs about uh, conspiracy theories, and that's Deus Ex. We need a modern-day take on the conspiracy theory RPG that has to deal with all the cracked-out stupid conspiracy theories we deal with these days. Because if you remember Deus Ex, Deus Ex was much more in line with, like, uh, X-Files-style conspiracy stuff, like government stuff, like, you know, helicopters, men in black, diseases, and everything else. We need one that has, like, the enemies are lizard men spraying chemtrails, and McDonald's is, like, secretly conspiring to, like, turn your turn you into, like, a hamster or something. Just something completely cracked out, because that is the world we now find ourselves in. There's another RPG that tackles Y2K. It's horrible. I've never heard of it before. Unless you mean that Yik game. I don't think that's what you mean, though, right? Very conspiracy theory on conspiracy theories. I believe that's happened. <laughs> like, these are... They call them false flags, you realize. Like, this is a false flag. Like, turn, turn us away from, like, the real truth. That is the game. Isn't that getting, like, a remaster? Like, it wasn't good enough before, but this new version... In two weeks, Silent Hill Ascension will be over. That's still going on. I I didn't realize. I have I I just heard it was shit, and I have not paid a bit of attention to it since for months. I didn't even know it was still going. It's not even a game, right? It's like you just watch like a cutscene on your phone or something, and then you vote. What a what a genius genius idea they had. What a great use of that franchise. The fact that the show has played a part in the Silent Hill 2 remake's lack of marketing is just sad. Is that really the case? I can't imagine they're making much money off it. Resident Evil last time I played was Resident Evil 4 on Nintendo Wii. Oh, okay. Okay, it wasn't too long ago. Uh, but uh, last time I you know, I played Resident Evil 4 remake, you know, the other year, pretty good. I might be playing the VR version of it this year. Hello, Chad and Dargan. I did a first today in therapy. Did you make a breakthrough? I mean, you might not want to share it because it is a public forum, but hey, hopefully you're doing well. Hey, my friends, someone to the dumb Metal Gear Solid 3 comes out? Yeah, we don't know when the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake comes out. We just suspect this year. Isn't Devil May Cry somewhat in line with Conspiracy Game? Uh, not that I'm aware. I mean, it doesn't really pull from any conspiracies I know of. It's just like, what if like really cool people with swords spot demons? And occasionally a city is like, there's like a big mountain or an evil tower under a city. That's about it. Sex is too hard. Can you share a walkthrough so I can 100% it? Uh, we'll see. You're gonna have to like max out your stats. And also you're gonna have to like talk to a lot of NPC characters for the quest line. And also buy microtransactions. I'm afraid. You gotta get those microtransactions. <laughs> you can't be good at sex with the microtransactions these days. Pay to win. The man, the myth, the legend. Okay, am I really any of those? I, I am a man. I don't know if I'm a myth or a legend. Those imply that I have, like, ceased to be. Like, he, 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 it's almost like I can hear his voice. Like, I'm still here. It's like, my, he's, his voice is upon the wind. Like, just like it was yesterday. I streamed yesterday. <laughs> These are dumb jokes, I'm sorry. Imagine paying a subscription fee for each orgasm. You know what? As a dude only gets really the one. I might be tempted into that. If, if, if there's like, hey, you know what? Sign up for our free expansion package. You get three 
Three, three, three for sesh. Ladies will scoff at it though, like, I don't need that. That was a very loud motorcycle that passed by. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you're in a rush. Uh, let's see. Bad. Too bad there's no Onimusha remix. Uh, well, they did re-release Onimusha 1 a few years back. It's all right. Uh, but I don't think Capcom has much interest in that franchise. The myth is Sergio Olivia, the famous bodybuilder nickname. <laughs> Got to like chats like challenging me to like Wikipedia everything they mention. Did I membership GIF yet? I'm pretty sure you've done that several times over the past month. Like you, you've gifted like many, many sub memberships to people. Uh, how's it going, lovely? What's up, Virus? How you doing? It's Purdue the underdog. Mm, Big Boss Zero. Frick. People are still in the world is that game. Hmm. It is getting a little warm, Chad. I think I'm, my hoodie weather is almost over. This might be one of the last few days I get to wear it. And you know what? Comfy hoodie going back in the closet soon. I might have to take it off during the stream because I, I feel a little stuffy. Hello, Dart. Sorry I missed the last two streams. Uh, Family stuff. Hey, don't, don't worry about it, man. Don't, don't, don't ever apologize for not watching a live stream. I will not hold it against you. Uh, you you watch a stream if you get time and you're bored. That's all there is to it. Take care of yourself first and foremost before you ever consider like spending any time with my dumbass. Plus the bods will always be there. Well, for the most part. Looking at you, cartoon theme song bod. <clears throat> Ooh, evening moo bitches. Now this guy knows how to make an entrance. Comes in, calls everybody a bitch, then sits down, smokes a cigarette. I'm assuming. You know what? How many of you actually do smoke? I'm kind of curious. There's got to be at least a few, right? Like, yeah, he shamefully puts, they, they shamefully put their hand up. Like, <laughs> so no smoke and stream. So GMC get to the sub to go Tetsu. Thank you, GMC. 53 for me, so yeah, I've just said fuck the shirt. Shirtless, shirtless viewer. Smoke you drink, you don't smoke. You know what? I'm glad that I see that I see like one person who vapes. That's it. Having a smoke right now. Well, there you go. Smoke weed count. That's a yeah, I actually have never considered smoking and smoking weed to be the same thing. Despite them technically being the same thing. When I say, when, I think when everyone says smoking, they, they always mean tobacco. Yeah, yeah, never got into it myself, thankfully. My older brother tried to get me to when I was a child. Yeah, my older brother would, like, pass me the cigs. Like, hey, here you go, little bro. Take a big puff. And thank God I was too stupid to know how to do it. Just inhale it into my cheeks and blow it right back out. How much dank weed have you smoked over the years? How much dank weed have I smoked? Zero. Yeah, it's right. I am that lame. I've never actually smoked weed. I am pure, chat. I don't drink. I don't smoke the Mary Jawana. Don't do any of that little fentanyl stuff. I am like, I, I among anyone watching this stream, I alone shall enter the kingdom of heaven because I've kept my temple pure. All of you, right to hell. Right straight to hell. And you know it. Am I straight edge? No. Straight edge is those people who are like really uptight and like don't want anyone else around them to ever like feel, make decisions for themselves. If you're smoking weed, I'm not going to stop you. If you're smoking cigarettes, I will look down upon you. But I'm not going to stop you. The uh, only time I would ever like try to stop someone from drinking is if they plan to drive afterward. Dart is a pure and innocent child of good God. See, I could be one of these VTubers. Everyone's always talking about being pure and say so. So I got him, I got him beat. Except on that whole virginity thing they all pretend to be. Hmm. What if someone wanted to shoot some smack? I don't think anyone uses the word smack anymore. That's like a 90s term. Like, hey, you want some smack? 
you enjoy a good glass of see i think i i've tried drinking wine before i don't like it it always gets like a little this is the very uh the very like sophisticated alcohol and it's like this tastes like garbage i mean i don't i don't drink either but i've at times had to have a drink because of like special events it's always like wine is like trash trash it smells good man do i not do i not like the taste Nothing stands in between me and your dart again, Jesus Christ. Someone's got to take him down. Might as well be me. <laughs> Shame on you, it certainly does not taste like garbage, and it's good for your health. I, I think not drinking any alcohol is even better for your health. I I'll stay with that path. My liver thinks me, all right? He's like, give me the thumbs up right now. He grew a, he grew a literally arm and a thumb. He's like, hey, thanks, buddy. Keep an eye out for me. I'll continue filtering all these toxins out of your blood. It's rich in polyphenols. You know what else is rich in polyphenols? Almost everything else. If you really, you really make the argument for the polyphenols, just eat the grapes themselves. Dart confirmed part of the Uma. I don't know what that is, but sounds you know very important. <laughs> Damn you, Dartigan. Mm, see, I have an argument for everything. I am very contrarian. As a German, I concur with this. Uh, wine is always hit or miss with me. Mm. See, I, I recently had to learn about all the like the differences of, like wine. Like, oh, this is a very dry wine. Mm, yes, and a few of those. Like, eh, you know what? Still, none of them really tasting that good. Love to see you do a Souls playthrough. Not sure if those games are really your style, but I'd love to hear your commentary. Uh, I actually played through pretty much all the Souls games last year. I played uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls One, Dark Souls Three. And Bloodborne. And also I've played through Elden Ring as well. Hell, I've played through a bunch of other games. I played through Sekiro. Did a video on Sekiro. Uh, Neo 1 and 2. And that recent Lies of P game. So I'm pretty like well versed in that genre. I'll be playing through the DLC for Elden Ring. So just keep an eye out for that then. Pretty sure that was in 2002. What? What was in 2002? Elden... I'm, what? 22. Oh, see, now you got it wrong. Yeah, 2022, last year, close enough. Handed wine by people in Europe as a child. Yeah, I hear that's a thing over there. It's like, oh, he's, he's at a full grown, like, 12 year old now. Let him have a drink. But, uh, they, you know, they just got old fashioned standards over there. One day, Darty will surrender to curiosity and play Dark Souls 2. I have none for Dark Souls 2. That's like a holdover game, all right? I know how those go. Like, you make that and release it while you're working on the true sequel. Would you like to see Resident Evil 9 tackle Lovecraft elements? Uh, when it comes to Resident Evil, Resident Evil is not about the supernatural. It's about biological horrors made through science and, like, the folly of man. That wouldn't really work with Lovecraft. So, not particularly, no. Love, you know, Resident Evil is like, I think of it as like the B-horror movie that happens to be pretty good usually. And it's all about, you know, the, all the perfect barrel weapon. <laughs> a perfect barrel weapon. You know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, Lovecraft should be, you know, something else. I mean, I literally just played a Lovecraftian inspired Resident Evil game basically with Alone in the Dark. <laughs> Not missing much with Dark Souls 2, Worst Souls game. That's what I've always heard. And it's also, it's got a lot of weird mechanics that make it really frustrating to play. You're old fashioned. You like to keep a little bar at home just to offer a drink to guests. Uh, that's that's pretty nice. I mean, you always have like guests over, you want to accommodate. Head canon that DMC and RE mate RE take place in the same universe. I mean, that could be interesting if you, for, as a comic book, maybe. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna play that game because I'm pretty sure like the Resident Evil people would get jacked horribly by yo know, Devil May Cry. Isn't Dark Souls 2 so different because it wasn't worked on by the creator. Uh, yeah, he was working on Dark Souls 3 at the time. Like I said, Dark Souls 2 was just like a holdover game that they made because they knew it was going to take a while to make Dark Souls 3. So it plays very similar to Dark Souls 1, but they made some additions here and there that were not exactly well thought out. 
Uh, see. Dark Souls 2 had a bunch of interesting mechanics and gimmicks that were really cool. <laughs> Very cool indeed. Can't wait. Spicy or extremely bitter wings. You know what? The best, some of the best food I've ever eaten was Korean barbecue wings, chicken wings. God, that was good. I need to go get some of those again sometime soon. It's like, some, it's still like stuck in my memory like, damn, those were good wings. So good. <laughs> <clears throat> Korean barbecue slams. It wasn't like at a Korean place though. It was just like at a sports bar and they had Korean barbecue sauce wings and I was like, mm, this is good. <laughs> Dart is funny. I try. It comes after several years of crippling depression. <laughs> and fighting, th once you do that, you can laugh at anything. Like what could defeat me now? I couldn't even defeat myself. Now I must make dick jokes and talk about stupid things for a living. Uh, Omyo, how you doing, man? Oh, uh, let's see, what time is it? How long? Okay, I've been streaming over 20 minutes. So maybe we get to play in the video game. How, how would you feel about that, chat? If we actually played games on the stream. Did you hear Darden's go play game on a stream? Oh my god. So last night, we got to the the guest house. So for tonight's goal, chat, get through the guest house, get back into the mansion, and then tomorrow we finish the game. We should we should finish tonight somewhere around getting into the, 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 la, the underground lab, or at least near that. So we should have enough time to finish it tomorrow. Also, Omyo, or Omyoto, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Thank you for your membership, dude. I actually added three new emotes last night because we unlocked three. I was like, damn, I kind of forgot that we got like 100 gift subs over the past two nights. So you got, if you care to take a look, you'll find three very well crafted emotes. Soy Knight, Think, and the ever famous Ding Bell. Soy Knight is a personal fave of mine, even though its uses are limited. <laughs> And also, there's another five gift subs from Super Trent. Uh, be sure to give him some love if you got a gift sub from him, chat. What are other PS2 era horror games you would like to play? Uh, good question. Did you guys know that FromSoft has a, you know, you know since we we're talking about Dark Souls, they have a Resident Evil style horror game called, I think, Kuon? Uh, I thought about playing that because it looks kind of interesting. Uh, there's, there's a, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's another one, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, it's about you're like a it, it, rose rose red rose red something like that. It's like another Resident Evil style horror game out of Japan. Rule of Rose and of also that a uh, game from Sony that's from the Portland style the Siren game, the one where you like look through the eyes of enemies. So there's three for you. All right, uh, let me check them. Okay, we need to find a map first. How about Haunting Ground? I'm not too familiar with that one, but sure, why not? Wait, is that the one that's really... Uh... Okay, actually, I think I do know about Haunting Ground. So maybe that one too. Alright, so what do I got? Okay, uh... Okay, we don't need... yeah, wait, let's, let's rearrange my stuff. Alright, uh... Oof. Getting low on bullets, I might need to bring the knife with me. the other three spots blank. I adore this save room theme. I could listen to it for hours. I think Resident Evil 2 probably has the best uh, save room theme, though. Did I miss a stream? Uh, I streamed the past two days, so if you were here for those, then no. Hmm. Clock Tower 3. I've never played any of the clock. Isn't Clock Tower 2 like a really cracked out and weird game? 
Now that's a great use of fixed camera angles, by the way. That's an excellent use of a fixed camera angle. Oh, well, it kind of like knocked me over there, so I okay. Hey, do you just want to like finish me off? Oh, choke me harder, daddy. Yeah, Chris likes it. I just didn't want to waste the heal. God, you were taking forever to die to this thing, Chris. How how thick is that neck? Can this even kill me? Am I trying to die? Yeah, because I didn't want I just wanted to restart since I just like came out of the door anyway, so I don't lose any progress. I don't want to use a heal for like getting like I don't think this thing can kill him though. All right, I'll let the spider kill me then. You can't get the job done. I'll get a professional. Tom, oh, it's feeding time. Thought you were going to fall down to the basement. I don't think the their floor. Yeah. I did. Where'd the spider go? Here you go. Come here. Come. Yeah, spray it on. In the original game, you could die to that vine. That makes sense. It is strangling you. All right, now we start for real. Hmm. Debating whether I should take my flask with me to burn any zombies. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Especially at the beginning, because the time I get to the end of this place, they might be walking around. And they're, but, uh, nasty. You know, I don't think spiders typically spit either, by the way. Suffer and succotash, tarantula. Are you just playing through the game? I am playing through it and recording it for a potential video later on. Now what? All Resident Evil, all main Resident Evil games have been sinned. Yep. Plus, even, yeah, pretty much. There's only one remaining. Not Resident Evil. So I don't think Survivor is technically a main game. Any games you're looking forward to, Dart? Uh, right now, I would say Stellar Blade and then Hellblade. And then Silent Hill 2 remake if it actually happens soonish. You left your window open. Stellar Booty, you know that game is more than just a nice ass, right? <laughs> Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Mm, oh, there's a map. There's a map. It's a map of the residence. Alright, good. Letting the bugs in. It's a nice little detail that they actually knew that for these bugs to be here, the, the window had to be open. There's a hole in the wall here. Don't look in that hole. I know what happens. 
We just get like a bunch of bees. Are you aware of the previous iterations of Resident Evil 4? Yep. They became Devil May Cry. I've talked about that quite a few times, actually. Door plate reads gallery. Until Dawn is coming out on Steam. When? Oh, it's just like a, rem a remastering of the game, so it's not like anything new. Alright, uh... I might still end up playing it, though, since, you know, just to go down memory lane, that was the very first game I ever live-streamed. You pre-ordered Stellar Blade today? Did you get the normal version or the deluxe edition? I saw people memeing that they canceled their Stellar Blade pre-order so they could like reorder the you know the deluxe edition. I'm not sure what you get with it. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Though there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that it's in comparison with the other group of plants, the T virus had substantially stronger effects on this one. The T-Virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy, as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. I've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the Aqua Ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach this first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines that capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. Also, Jesus, uh, Lord Rush, thank you for 20 memberships, dude. Uh, dang, uh, most of the people in the YouTube chat probably now have a membership. Alright, YouTube guys, go crazy, post a fucking ton of emotes. Actually, Twitch people, post a bunch of emotes too. Emote celebration time chat. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, this plant's drinking blood. But uh, give also give your thanks to him for giving you a, you a membership. You must have noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42. When the head of the stories from the survivor, when we, when we heard of stories of the survivors, they all observe the same one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open to reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves that way it, it does is still unknown. Hmm. So yeah, look at those glorious freaking emotes. Wonderful even. Excellent. I think we just unlocked a new one that I'll have to upload tonight. <laughs> GMC, thank you for the gift sub to Chibi Methos. Wish Resident Evil was good like this game. Uh, Resident Evil Zero has its strengths. Uh, it's just that it doesn't. The environment isn't as interesting since it's basically like a clone to this. It doesn't really make any sense. It's like, oh, the training facility next to the mansion. It, it's they really they could have I think made they should have made that game focused on like the alpha team or was it the beta team of stars that arrived here first, rather than some weird story of you know billy and whatever also lord rush thank you for your your own membership by the way praise be to lord rush he who gifted memberships all right It's fine. The only reason that to replay it is an expensive Wesker mode. Uh, there, there, it did get it. The, the item inventory management got really annoying, to be perfectly honest with you. The idea of being able to leave an item on the ground and come back for it, while in theory could be good, it just makes you wish, like, why can't I just carry all this shit instead? Instead of having to, like, walk back and pick it up and remember where I put it.
Bet you weren't expecting a critical hit, were you? Had a, he had a freaking piano sting and everything. He's like, yeah, fuck this dick. And then pop. Here we go. Sound of a critical hit on Resident Evil or what? Yeah, those, those head pops are pretty satisfying. You got Stellar Blade Digital Deluxe? Hmm. Somebody is like, you know what? This game inspires me. Fuck this dick. I am a wordsmith, you realize. Nice beat here, by the way. This game does need more music, I feel, in it. You record this game for, uh, uh, for a classic sin since it's over 20 years old. Uh, technically, this should be for classic sins. However, I might make the exception of making just putting on the Game Sins channel because I've already got all the other mainline Resident Evil games on it, and I'd rather that people who like find those be able to watch them all beginning to end if they want to. So even though yeah, it should be a classic sins, I'll probably when I make the video on it, just make it a regular Game Sins video. What time is it for me? Are you asking me? Right now it's 8.38 p.m. This is my training to punch a boulder later in life, chat. This is where it began. Because I gotta tell you, a crate of this size, you ain't normally moving. These are, these are heavy, heavy things. need that plant. Richard! Chris! How did you get down here, Pritchard? You know, I just now realized this is like, you know, one of the things about Chris is he loses all of his team members throughout the entire series. I just now realized it started here. He got that dude killed. Like, th this man's PTSD stretches all the way back to this game. Though right now he's like blank, he doesn't feel anything. Uh... <laughs> Right, let me take the plant. Might end up needing it. That guy had so much to live. That guy was like surviving in there. He was safe. And then we just had to walk in. Sharks do a lot of damage. Deep as blue as my hat is like a shark's fin. <laughs> Sharks do a lot of damage, you don't say. I mean, 
It's almost like they're made to be natural predators. Uh oh. Yeah, I think you come down here once you get the fight, the, the flame there, don't you? I came down here for nothing. I keep up with nothing. Oh, am I pretty good, actually? You got a, what is it? You got a Squatch banner under chat. It's now my head cannon that Dart looks like the blonde Squatch dude. You know what? I, that's the reason I don't use a camera. I can look whatever you want me to look like. It has no effect. Your your pathetic attacks do nothing, mortal. Leave and be gone. Uh, mix MC Koi. Thank you for the membership, by the way. Sure. I don't think it's a, I guess we just leave now. There's nothing left to check. Just don't get eaten by the shark. Well. The real apex predators of the deep blue are the oh-so-adorable orcas. Uh, y y well, yeah, orcas are well known to be pretty, like, well, don't fuck with them. Alright, that was, uh, I can't do anything there yet. How many of you have seen that movie Deep Blue Sea, though? <laughs> That's the reason that area always reminds me of it. It just has one of the dumbest, like, tie-in songs that I've ever heard for any movie. Like, deepest, bluest, my hat is like a shark's fin. Ch Chad, is your hat like a shark fin? I think it was LL Cool J who sang it, right? You think Ferret Cop would survive in Resident Evil? I don't think cute things survive very well here. Just gotta just got be honest with you. Is that a movie where Samuel Jackson is eaten halfway there? Yeah, he gives his... That's actually one of the only really good moment in the movie. He's giving this big dramatic speech of how they have to stick together so they can survive, and then he just gets eaten by a shark halfway through it. Water drips from the sink. Perhaps the valve is broken. Well, I, I ain't gonna be fixing a sink. Sorry to say. What was this key I just picked up? Oh wow, GMC. Thank you for the... Tier 1 sub to Nostrid, by the way. Nothing unusual. Zero, zero, 001. You activate the sleeper agent code phrase for me. Haven't heard that in forever. Deepest, bluest. My hat is like a shock spin. Now I must kill the president. Kill. In Minecraft. Are you sick? Do I sound sick? Because I'm not. Nope, perfectly fine, actually. Now watch me kill this beat. <laughs> no, not gonna do that. I don't want to lose health. Locked. Hopefully it reads gallery. No, I just have a weird sounding voice. <laughs> Mint stuck? Oh, stuck. No, I'm not stuck either, actually. This guy are sick. This guy are stuck.
You know, I've, I've also had another idea for like a unique stream to do in the future, and it would be examples of bad localization in video games where you just have like just the just voice acting and like horribly written lines. Actually, a mix of bad voice acting plus bad line writing. Like, what the? F you, you, sir. I thought it was the other hole it came out of. All right. Uh. Use the room. There's no use of this key. You want to be a blitz ball. That that'd be one of them. But there's some like there's a there's a lot of really bad localization that went on in the 90s for a lot of video games. Uh, that I'm I'm starting to collect examples of. Chad, did you know the for instance, you know there's a fighting game on the PS1 uh that one of the characters of it is voiced by the Colonel from Metal Gear Solid, and he's just constantly berating cute anime girls. And it's just horribly written like all hell. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! light, light, light. Hmm. No one's played that one in a while, but I thank you for it. Mr. Courage is solid. Oh yeah, the time this stupid gun. That you will never almost ever use. Well, something just this uh, with made a Kurt Cobain joke in this room. Well, he blew his brains out with a shotgun. He didn't hang himself, but sure, why not? There's an old, an old Amiga game called Ishhar, and there's a lot of typos in that. I'm, lo I'm, I'm looking specifically for voiced work, though, not just typos. Uh, so I, I'm hoping to put together like a bunch of content of like really bad like localization and voice acting combos. Primarily from like the 90s and maybe early 2000s and then making a stream out of it. Have you played Resident Evil Randomizer? Those can be so funny. Oh, just about any any randomizer uh, game can be funny, but I have not played a Resident Evil one. I don't know if I want to pick up this tiny gun because I don't have any more inventory space. Again, there doesn't seem to be anything else in here. Uh, 25 bits from Bad Boy. Self-defense gun in real life has firepower comparable to 9mm like your Beretta. In the game has the power equal to a Magnum, but only one shot, yeah. Like, if it's one of those guns you'll just like, I'll never use this. Speaking of kernels, do you know of games that have Parley Emery? Or, uh, that, that, that is the colonel, right? That's his real name. Like I said, there, that, I don't really think he did a lot of video games. I just know this asshole is going to get up. Toilet paper. They're very discolored. Pull out the plug. Did you eat fried rice today? Actually, yes. Uh, egg fried rice. There's something inside the bathtub. You take the control room key. Are you going to get up? Yep. I did smile no because I've talked about eating like fried rice for like the past month. It is, it's a safe enough assumption at this point.
It's like I, I've been like rice pilled for a while. Like, mmm, this fried rice. It's good. Smile lives with art? No. He does not. Uh, also, MC Koi, five dollars or five euros super chat. My best friend Alan Duhig uh, said hi. He's a fan. Well, Alan, if you're listening in the room to, with MC Koi or however uh, that this the situation's working, thanks for watching this stuff for me. Sorry I butchered your last name. <laughs> Forgive me that one small uh, issue. All right, we're not really running into zombies much here, so we're gonna put that away. Uh, also, I don't really feel like I need the knife. Let me go back and get that gun now. Rice pilaf. You know, I have never eaten pilaf before. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand, and at least let me in my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Robert Kendo reference. Uh, who is that again? I know I've heard that name before, but I don't recognize it and how it works. Alright, so yeah, we cleared out this area. Resident Evil 2, the gun owner? Oh. You said his last name correctly? Oh, congratulations me. I usually butcher hard to pronounce names. You can do a lot with rice. It's almost like it's a staple food of an entire region of the world. I'm planning to buy some actual Japanese rice soon. Because uh, I can't get that in my local store, so I like I gotta order it off Amazon. <laughs> okay, let's put this gun away that we're never gonna use. And uh, I guess we'll save our game. Need to sleep, but I can't. It's too early. Eh? Hey, if you need to sleep, I always recommend getting it. You won't regret it. Briss is turning into a meaty gusher. <laughs> The, I don't like the idea of gusher plus meaty. One, gushers are like the worst thing that's ever been sold to children. And they always had like the most obnoxious ads. You ever seen a gusher commercial? It'd always be like, it'd like they'd have like the kids skateboarding down like the, the neighborhood street. Like jumping off a ramp and all the other kids like watching how cool he is. Like, I don't care how good your candy is, it ain't going you know, to be impressing anybody. Like that kid's got fucking gushers. You know, that, that, that it's your gummy bears with, like, goo in them. <laughs> Holy shit. Beats another one? Yo, yo, what? I'm high-fiving him. Like, he's gonna be the king of the school. I'm lucky I went to, like, a hick school where there wasn't all these weird clicks that you guys had to deal with. Nope, no siree. Uh, let's see. 
And we don't really need to carry anything else with us. Gushers is not the worst thing to sell to children. What about crack? Legally sell to children. But then again, a lot of sugar is not that different from selling them crack. When Dardigan said it's it's got goo in it, I believed him. I mean, doesn't Gushers isn't it just like it's a, like a piece of taffy with like goo in it? So when you bite into it, it gushes. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing gushers. Hello, you're friendly, right? Yeah, it's right. Eat shit. <laughs> Uh, what would you imagine your next tier list would be about? I don't know if I plan to do that many tier lists. That one was really the only one I kind of wanted to do. Hey, who's this? Oh, by the way. Who's this bikini, this low-res bikini-clad woman? A red oil lamp. It's not lit. Strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Would it have some kind of meaning? You hate spiders? Well, this this game does have really good spiders in it. I think we gotta find something to put over this, right? Oh no, there's like a little eyeball beneath it. Lamp shines with reddish light. Let's see, yeah. Okay, like eye design underneath of it. It's related to a puzzle, I mean, obviously. Let me go put the. I got no room in my inventory. You know what's cool is finding out Sphere Hunter is trans and did. Was like, say what? She's pretty cool no matter what. And heck, I was just hearing you say that when I was lounging on my couch. Well, like I said, it's nothing, you know. I, I didn't want to like, I was actually, didn't really, probably shouldn't have said that. I didn't really want to hurt anyone's reputation if it did. But I, I think, I'm pretty sure it's fairly well known. Speaking of gushers, have you seen those really weird commercials that focus on goo slime spraying guns for kids? Uh, I've seen pretty much ever since I've been born, everything for kids has always been about spraying them with goo for some reason. It's almost like society is weird and has a weird message. You never remember those wax candy soda bottles with, I think I got one of those for Halloween, or like a package of them, and they were terrible. Like you, have to, you like just bite into a bunch of wax and get some like flavor out of it. This is a great idea. Mm, I love eating candle wax with flavors. <laughs> Partition is decorated with dishes, but but why? Hey, is, hey you know I never realized they have like the the predator meme in this game. <laughs> Advertisement for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named Chief for a Day of the Raccoon Police Department. Interesting. Dylan, you son of a bitch. What, they got you pushing too many papers? Will you take the red book? Bandage with blood. It's a book with a red cover. For once, it's just empty. 
Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I, don't, I think we gotta use the... We find a green book for this one. Pushing too many pencils. Oh, Arnold. So my cookies. Put the cookie down. Hmm. Oh, wait. You gotta find a place to put these. You know they're making an anime adaptation of Uzumaki? Yes, and it looks amazing because they're making it look as much like the manga as possible. However, they've been working on it forever. So who knows when it'll be finished. You need to see the Japanese commercials Arnold is in. I've seen a few of them. Then definitely, yeah, it's, it's not exactly apparently easy to animate that way. What's Uzumaki? It's a famous uh, Japanese horror manga uh, about this town that's like obsessed with spirals. It's pretty much like the de facto horror manga out of Japan for like the last two decades or so, or three decades. I'm not sure when it got when it was written, uh, but it's it's been animated before and even had like a movie, but they've never been that great. But there's a new one being made by Netflix, I believe, uh, and the animation is like trying to look as close to the actual manga as possible, even being in black and white. I'm getting extremely well stocked up. Okay, I gotta go grab those shotgun rounds real quick. You see the action of One Piece? Thought it was good. I've never been able to get into One Piece. One, there's just too many episodes for me to ever want to watch it anyways. And when I tried reading the manga, it's kind of similar. It, I just, it just wasn't for me. Junji Ito, yep. That guy is like the Stephen King of Japan. He's always writing new stuff. It's like I won't even like pay attention and like I find out he's written like 10 books since the last time I even heard of him. Well, let me refer. He's like the Stephen King of Japan without all the weird sex shit. <laughs> What if I what if I added like a you know, a sewer child orgy in my horror story about you know, a clown? He was a creature designer of Silent Hills, yep. But I don't think he ever got to do any work before that game was can. So it, it, he just would have been. Did you not go through this Jill? I played as Jill like a year or two ago, uh, so I'm now playing through as Chris. All right, we are now fully stocked up on a lot of things. Uh... I think you would be good at voicing Garfield the cat. But Garfield's boring, though. Uh, what is what is he always like? Garfield like lasagna? Hey, Odie. Odie. Go we'll get the lasagna on the table, Odie. And wow, what a surprise. He kicks him off the table. What a joke. How many times did he do that joke with like oh, kick OD off the table? The only thing other thing that I know about that series is like it's only entertaining when people turned it into a Lovecraftian horror story. Or then they made it look like the, the guy in it was like crazy and imagining his pets. I'm sort of boring. Thank you. You know, I never realized there's so much, like, horniness in this area. <laughs> yes, I will buy Stellar Blade.
strange silhouette hovers in the orange light. Would it have some kind of meaning? More goddamn that these guys were hard up. Some billard bar, two, three, four, five, and six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but. I'm almost certain. Okay, they're, they're too low res to make out, but these look like video game renders over here. Uh, let's see. Does Dardigan does have a Lorenzo music vibe? <laughs> Lorenzo. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything just yet. I think I need to get down to the control room and use this key before I can do anything else. Mind you, the posters in Metal Gear Rising. Oh, there's something in this hallway that I've never picked up, but I don't know what it would be. Oh, it'd be these. This would be definitely be these. You know what? We'll go ahead and add, at least I get poison. We'll go ahead and add this to the mix. Fucking train. Oh, uh, the Dark Tower chapter, th I mean, book three reference, huh? The last good Dark Tower book. Killed by dead baby jokes, no less. Locked door plate reads against the gallery. So I think I need to go back down to the water now and I can think I can get into that red door. One of these red doors at the very least. Uh, you're quitting your job? Hey, what? Oh, wow. What are you moving on to then? What's next in the old life? Cyber security, fuck retail, and yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. What's the next game to play? I might be playing Silent Hill 3, actually. So, only thing left to do is like go back to the flooded room again and try to get to the other side and hopefully not die. However, I'm gonna have to like, I need to get healed up. I think I can take one bite before I'll die. Well, I can take one bite, then the second bite would kill me. Lost the footage? Yeah, I played through Silent Hill. I didn't really lose the footage, it just didn't record any. He only recorded the audio because apparently Bandicam doesn't record for some reason on, on my... Didn't record any of that. I just have like nothing but several hours of audio from the game. So I need to re-record it. What have I missed? Pizza was beckoning. Uh, we've just been like adventuring through the guest house. Is Dex under my feet? No, she is somewhere else. I'm not sure where though. I'm trying to eat my shoes. <laughs> yep. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh wait, this no, I, I'm dumb. I've been in here. It's the other one I gotta try to get into. Well, that resets the enemy, so it's fine. So we keep going around. We use the control room key. Good. The warning lamp indicates that there's an emergency. Deep as blue as my hat is like a shark's fit. <laughs> There's a map of the aqua ring. Okay, why did they need this, by the way? Like, how do you convince, like, your, I guess, your funders to, like, yeah, we need, like, a gigantic multi million dollar underground shark pool? It's very necessary for our virus research. Case of drop in oil pressure control. Open valve number two. Pressure shelter. Air message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Safety. Oof. Uh, pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. Safety mechanism of the pressure shelter has been released. Stop that. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. What's up, Lucky? How you doing? Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. I don't know where the emergency drainage is. <laughs> about the diet. <laughs> Not like this. Of pressure threshold. Yeah, where where store this oil pressure at, alright? Oh, shit, stop looking at the thing. Threshold. Oh wait, it's this way. Oh shit. Hurry. Fuck's sake. Reaching the camera angle screwed me here. They screwed me threshold. so much. All personnel prepare for impact. What, what are you looking at the wind? The door is high. Yeah, I get it. It's been a while since I've saved, by the way. Reaching maximum pressure threshold. Real pressure's been it says it's been restored. We gotta go with the ladder. Go with the ladder. What a shit. What a shit. <clears throat> I couldn't find that room because of the goddamn camera angles were hiding it from me.
Oh, when was the last time I even saved? I think it... Mortis. Definitely a mortis, a mortis of the old mini of... You are drown. Uh... Oh. I don't think it's too far back from when I saved. Like, I got the control room key so we can go back down there and redo this now. Thank God I actually saved Ruff not too long ago. Brain would just shut down from the panic. You know, the pan the, that's, you know, that is what happens. But no, I literally could not find that room because the camera angle was like, eh, maybe it's not here. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't need to go in that one room. I, I did lose out on that progress of going in that room, but there wasn't really anything in that room I needed yet. So let's go back down to the under underwater area. Get this taken care of. Dino Crisis Remake would be amazing. Uh, I don't think you should expect it, because Capcom just released a dinosaur game and it didn't do very well. So they're probably thinking dinosaurs aren't in right now. Professor of Theater, that's my MFA is in. No, that is an impressive title. I would take that class. I missed out on being a theater kid because we didn't have those options where I lived. The testing ground for a new Dino Crisis remake. Well, it didn't do well enough to probably convince them to. Back to work. Probably have a good night, man. Did I say I was going? I don't know. Did you? Uh, when Exo Primal is super popular. Wait, I thought that game, like, flop, like, almost said flopped. You know, flopped. Because I heard it, like, did not do well at all. Hmm. Like, who wants to play a live service game about dinosaurs? They baited. Yeah, I, that's what a lot of people thought it was going to be at first. There's going to be some kind of new dino crisis game because one of the characters sort of looks like her. But they were like, no, no, it's actually not her. We just, like, accidentally made her look like it. Time to play the bl the butthole music. <laughs> Why would I play the butthole music? <clears throat> what what good what does that what is that in service of playing butthole music right now? Sorry, I'm like choking on your know, cold brew right now. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, we can take a hit. My hat is like a sh You guys are gonna get fucked once I get this puzzle solved. <laughs> oh, fucked. Cold brew with liver revitalizing alcohol infused? No, just milk. love the set camera angle. I actually like the you know, fixed camera angles too. Though there are times when they do screw you as I as you just saw with me. Sharks are friend though. Oil pressure regular. There's no need to adjust the pressure. Here is vinyl, gotta show off the skills. I mean, you can go make those yourselves, you know. It's not actual skills. You just type in what kind of music you want to that website and you get it. I was actually trying it out earlier today. In fact, would you like to hear a song that I made earlier today, chat? I'm kind of proud of it. What website? The website the, that music you're talking about came from. But Suno. Here, hold on a second.
Oh yeah, this is one of the songs I tried making. It'll load up. Not Suno, no, it's just called Suno. Being a little slow right now, there might be a lot of people using it. Hatsune Miku. People have been using it to make Hatsune Miku music, though. There's a survey for you to post. How many people would play a game if whatever happened in the game happened to you in real life? The only way that would get a positive result if it was one of those, like, porn games. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's loading up right now. Their website might be done. Might be getting, like, a bunch of users. Oh well. Maybe it'll be up later. Hmm. Awfully funny that. Whatever. Back to playing video games. So Dargan, do tell what other secret talents do I have? Uh, none that I can mention in public. <laughs> Private talents, you realize. I, I'm, I, you know, I, 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 I can't, I'm not sure how to answer that question. What are you also amazing at, Dardigan? Mm, pretty much everything. Alright, let's get this... make this happen. You with secret talents, you can't even catch a ball. Ah, uh, true. I'm actually... I have poor hand-eye coordination. Your secret talent is wooing the ladies with your height. I mean, you don't really have to woo ladies with your height. They go looking for that. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. This place looked to you and uh, detects a problem. You know what, maybe you don't have a bunch of glass that's breakable. And now we go up the ladder, I think. Dragon's other secret talent is extending a certain member to a Ruba Rosa proportions. <laughs> you guys are silly. Uh, I actually don't know the next stage in this process. Like I have the oil now fixed, but I don't know the next switch. Pressure has already been restored. Reaching 90% of pressure threshold. Oh, I just had to hit that again. Secure. been completely drained. Okay, it would take a while to drain that much water out of my room, by the way. Just want to point that out. That ain't happening quickly. Flushed.
I like this environment though. It's damp. Damp, this is my friend. The materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked to be on use. Alright, uh, let's see. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, suffocate. Will you take the assault shotgun? I will. I don't think it'd work after being in the water that much, though. Big, big, thick boy here. Do you have to get to like bite this thing? Or just do that. God, I love animal cruelty in video games. Hmm, smelling like shark fin super in here. Cooked. Cooked. Cooked well. Right, will you take the residence key? What if Nemesis in this game? Technically, he sort of is. There is the tyrant, which is what a Nemesis is. This is a different version of it. What's up, pal? What's up, logical? How you doing? Using my old catchphrase like that. This isn't the first Resident Evil played with Jill. Who's this guy? Uh, you can play as both. They both have the campaign in the game. So you, Jill is easy mode, or normal mode, and Chris is hard mode. And they have a sort of separate story for each of themselves in it. That's a different... Hoppity hoppity. Where are the other two sharks? There's like three baby sharks here, though. You will not stop till we bring back pilots. I would need to go back to doing Titanfall content for that to make sense. Okay, so... Hmm. Hmm. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Baby shark. I'm sorry. I'm sad that I know how that beat goes. Oof. Gonna have to come back and get those. <laughs> gonna have to come back and get those because you don't get many of those. What's up, bro? What's up, Ray? How you doing? Alright, let's go drop off all of our goodies, and then we'll come back and get the Magnum ammo.
first dog fight in this game got him well the original resident evil got me but hey i was a little kid wasn't used to horror games It's a wee whittle kid, Jet. Of course a dog jumping through a window is going to scare me. Can we, like, wear this hat, by the way? There's nothing special. Are you... Chris, you have no taste. That is a fine hat. Pick it up. You have two sons on Beyond Repair... <laughs> Beyond Repair from Baby Shark. Yeah, you're probably going to listen to, like, nothing but skibbity soon. Right, we could go in there, I believe. Yeah, so now we can go get the... Yeah, now we got space to go get the, the Magnum ammo. Such a big hat will not fit on his small head. His head gets bigger later on, though. You wish dead Resident Evil had Dead Rising level character dressing. I mean, it does, for its time, have the alternate costumes, and some of them are pretty nuts, but usually, yeah, not to that same degree. You know, that's a, you know, the, you know, Dead Rising. That'd be something Capcom could bring back. 45 bits from Bad Boy Beta. Actually, Nemesis is kind of in the game. Lisa Trevor had the Nemesis parasite implanted in her, causing her to grow smarter and grow tentacles. She's also responsible for the creation of the G-Virus. Hmm. See? You got lore. But I wasn't aware of that bit of it, actually. Hope to God, nope, not one in three years and the other is six months. The Skibbity is eternal. It will find them. Even if you try to keep it away from them. Look, it's either Skibbity or Crazy Frog. Take your pick. <laughs> Chat, I, I've never understood the Crazy Frog uh, uh, phenomenon and how it gets that many views all these years later. Crazy Frog is a forgotten relic. Go look at that channel, alright? Go look at it and see the views it gets on recent videos. Tell me it's a boss. I, mean, I, I don't like it either, but hey, if you, the guy for some reason landed on a gold mine. Love that movie. Aren't they making a new uh, lethal, uh, whatever the you know, Beverly Hills Cop? Do, 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 Yeah, the, 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 I remember seeing them like once or twice. All right, now we put all of our stuff away. I apologize for my outburst. What the fuck is wrong with people? I know, right? It's like, you're just like, why? How? How rude. No one knows about Skibbity. That sounds more philosophical than a declarative statement. Does anyone truly know the Skibbity? Can you ever truly understand its majesty? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm no longer you know, fearful for my life in this game. I am stocked up. Like, ain't nothing wrong happening to me anymore. Only thing I could use more of... You more ink ribbons. A few more ink ribbons, sir. Skibbity sounds like the name of some European philosopher that only becomes relevant because of their goofy name. <laughs> if only that were the case. Thing is, if you play any Skibbity music in a YouTube video or a stream, you will get copyright claimed up the ass. That guy ain't joking around of protecting his apparent creation that uses the old G-Man from Half-Life and music that he didn't make. Hmm. 
Might need stuff to prevent it. I think there's a bunch of spiders coming up, right? Might need blue herb. Yeah, I won't hold off. Dude's making me. Yeah, let me see if I can get my song to play now. When Dart says it, I feel weird. What, Skibbity? Skibbity got... Skibbity got Rizzler. On God, no cap. Locked in. <laughs> this is like weaponized cringe. Speak, speaking of weaponized cringe, this is a song I made earlier today. Just by typing in one word over and over again. You're not ready for it, by the way. Yo, I got a dog and his name is Rover. He's always bringing energy, never sober. He's a ball of fuss, a bundle of joy. Chasing his tail like it's some kind of toy. And I love my puppy, never leaves my side. Always wagging his tail, filling me with pride. He's a loyal friend, always there for me. And when we go walking, we're the coolest duo on the scene. Dog, 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 He's a loyal friend, always there for me. And when we go walking, we're the coolest duo to see. Dog, 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 Why does it slap though? Why does it slap? Pretty good stuff. Took me all of like 10 seconds. Chad, I, I'm, a, I'm now officially afraid of artificial intelligence. We should all be terrified. We know not what we have created. I'd bump that in the car. The most popular song on the website right now is just the word cat being repeated over and over and over again. No cap, da. No cap. What a banger. What, 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 what is it? Slap. You're a worse person for hearing that? You're welcome. Sick track. Yo, sick music, dude. As if I did anything. I typed some words into a website. I didn't create shit. But I will, you know, reward myself by uh, the benefits of playing dumb music on a live stream. That I don't have to worry about being copyright claimed. Hmm. Bugs. Locked. The door player reads 003. Shit, I didn't bring the knife with me either. Corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. Will you take the insecticide spray? Oof, 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 oof. It's too dangerous to go any further. Oh yeah, we gotta spray it from the other side. That's right. That hole in the wall. Camera, work with me. You want that as a ringtone now? What? Dog, 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 dog.
Yeah, pump, pump, pump. A bees. Can you use any word, anything that's not in there, like the old content moderation? I tried put making a song about foot fetish, but it wouldn't let me do that one. It's like that is against our content moderation on our platform. Bro, look, feet jokes are funny, all right? Can you make another song? I made several songs. That was the the one most easy, the the most memeable one. So that's the one I chose to play. A uh, lock mechanism for the door. Use it. Okay, we need to go learn that. Remember that code from earlier. Foot fetish isn't fine, but yacht is fine. Probably would be. I don't think yacht would be like. Single down. You take the residence key. A lot of dudes like it. What the feet thing? Uh, some people don't. I've never really understood it myself. I just like making jokes about it. Hey, Ray, have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. All right, so we can get into this room now. Yeah. You should really just sell feet picks. Screw being a professor. The sad thing is, if you got good enough feet and you can market them enough, you probably could make a ton of money with it. I went to the wrong door. Did the message send uh, the last message from you, Puff? Is like, but for me, it looks weird. So I don't know if you're, what you're if that's what you're talking about. Dog, 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 dog. You believe no one should be an asshole? I agree. Being an asshole is tiring. It's exhausting to be mean. All right? Do we get another? It's full of dirty water. They they love this. Like, hey, what if we like put an item in like the bathtub puzzle? It's the third time in the game. It's like they're trying to say that you're smelly, Chris. Actually, there was nothing in this bathtub. I think I just, I think I actually needed to dump something into that bathtub water. And I might have screwed myself. Because there's like roots going into it. Tap this wash basin doesn't seem to be working. Do you see a gif of pyramid head twerking? Uh, in what, the chat? I do not. Weird, one of the weirdest questions I've ever been asked in a stream. <laughs> Beats the toilet? Hey, that's Silent Hill's repertoire of like reaching into a dirty toilet. You don't, you don't fuck with Silent Hill's puzzles, man. It was online. Oh, it was online. Well, I'm sure there's no shortage of like weird things uh, Pyramid Head is doing online. All right, uh, that's another save room. Jim Logan, thank you for the 77 months. Just imagine the amount of super roids this dude takes between Resident Evil 1 and 5. So he could throw hands with it. It all actually takes place in between Code Veronica and 5. Because he still looks like this in Code Veronica. So he he, he gets big as once Wesker slaps him down around around a bit. He's like, I ain't, I ain't messing with that anymore. This feels like it's pushable. Oh, I need, I need the book.
organic chemistry lab experiment. Similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected with the Tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. It sounds like a soda. <laughs> if calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. Characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number 3, red, yellow 6, number 7, green, number 10, orange, V7, V17, blue, visual dark brown. Chris doesn't know basic math. He's a meathead, alright? Big ol' meathead. Out of curiosity, was there any difference between the Code Veronica and Code Veronica X? I don't believe there was. Uh, I'm sure there's like a few differences, but I don't think it's anything major. I, I never played the original Code Veronica on Dreamcast. So I if there was any differences, they'd be lost on me. Alright, uh... Okay, we still need to like... Go get the code for this door. Code Veronica adds cutscene. Code Veronica X adds a few cutscenes. I mean, I do have a Dreamcast now, so I probably could play it. I just don't have any reason to now that I've already made a sin video on it. I'd rather like send the Dreamcast versions of Resident Evil 2 and 3. So I might be playing those eventually. Once I get some stuff to like make it so I can actually. Hook my Dreamcast up to my capture card. Make fully cancel planes after a matter of suffering multiple concussions. Yeah, the dude should not be doing anything but like sleeping on pillows all day after his life. Yeah, I thought maybe walking would get me past this without this happening, but nope. the last time you did something embarrassing i'm streaming right now <laughs> streaming is like chat streaming is a bit like walking how you're walking is simply just always falling forward but catching yourself at the last moment streaming is essentially embarrassing yourself but stopping yourself right at the edge every single second of the live stream that's what you'd have to do to be a successful streamer probably the most poetic thing i've ever stated by the way Alright, uh... I don't really need any of this. So we now need to go... and get the code for the door. Super Tramp, have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. Edging and gooning. Gen generally, those probably don't go together that well. If you're edging, you're not really gooning, are you? What the fuck does that even mean? Gooning? It means jerking off. But usually excessively. Alright, strings. Okay, this is like an eye with a line in the center. Mm hmm. 
this one is what? This one is like no eye. CV was a good game, just got ruined by inventory issues. Uh, I don't, I don't think the plot is that good either, or the envi the environments of it just do not interest me. Hey, 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 funny. All right, uh, last one. Oh wait, maybe you gotta use the color of these plus the the cue balls. That's red, or that was like purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like purple, green, and orange, right? Poison, son of a bitch. Oh, that's all right. I got, I got the, I got this stuff to recover. Got plenty of blue herbs on me. Which Souls game y'all think best? For me, it's Sekiro. If you consider that a Souls game. Some people don't. Dark Souls 3. I mean, these are the best options. But if, I don't know. Something about Sekiro is, I mean, I just really like it worked for me, alright? It worked. Alright, so yeah, we don't need anything else right now. We just gotta go back and finish that puzzle. Would you rather send a really, really good game or a really, really bad game? Really good game every single time. I, I always make way better videos when I'm seeing a game I enjoy. I have more fun sending things that are seen as good because I get to show people more interesting things usually. Things that they didn't notice. On a bad game, usually the most of the flaws are pretty obvious. Alright, so... So it's red, green, orange. So if we go with that and it's red, green, orange, we're looking at three, six, four. But I'm not sure if it's like the icon or the number I got to use here. All right, someone remember three, six, four for me. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, no, 365. Look at the wrong no, color. Yeah, you know, I'm colorblind, chat. 365. And then we'll go, because I'm pretty sure, like, the, the little eyeball design is also necessary. Like, this one's got the wide open pupil, the other one has no pupil, and then one has a slit. He's aware it's a number of... See, it is actually the amount of days in a year. Yeah, so this the green one has no pupil. I'm thinking it's like slit, pupil, no pupil, wide open pupil. Slit, pupil, no pupil, wide open pupil. Have you never seen these posters? 
Maybe you're just a more innocent soul and you were just ignoring them. Got the stock of the shotgun ammo. We're going to be needing it soon. What do I think of Snoop Dogg? I haven't felt that he's relevant to music for a very long time. He's mainly just been like a cultural guy that everyone gets to like know about and talk about for many years now. I mean, he had some good songs. I am not, you know, denying him that, but uh, I can't think of anything he's really done besides just be Snoop Dogg for so long now. I feel like he's just been like, I'm Snoop Dogg. Uh, how it has it going? Without actually producing anything relevant. Okay, so we need both. Okay, what was the first number? Three? Oh no, this is the one. Okay, this is the one with no people. So that'd be the middle number, which was six, right? Wait, how's this work? Right. This one was the last number, I think. So it's like five. And this one would be three. We did it. We did it. <laughs> All right. Let me put the book away before I start interacting with chemicals up. Love you guys too, even if we don't know each other in real life. Hey, you can, you know, you know, you know what? I feel like I, the one thing I am proud of as a streamer is like, the communities I tend to build up on either both on Twitch and on YouTube, pretty good places. A little good people. Uh, nothing real toxic. Because I would shut that down, that shit down so quick. You think you're gonna be toxic to me? How's the FF7 Rebirth vid going? I finished the second draft of my script today. Tomorrow is my final draft and then I get to record lines. So the script writing process is almost complete. Findings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books, yes. No, 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 not like that. Is that nudity? Is that nudity chat? In my encyclopedia? Okay, that's not right. Again, not right. Okay, yeah. Why am I fucking this up? It's so obvious. Is this her hand? I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. I, I thought that was her leg up there. Okay, it's not right. You're on a chocobo? Well... I think this book. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta like move them all down one. Crap. This needs to be at the very end.
This is a clever way of putting nudity in the game, isn't it? It's artistic, all right. All right. Uh, I think that's isn't that like the plant room? I don't know if I want to go in there just yet. So I think it's like the different side of the plant room. We should probably like work on the on the chemicals first before we do anything else. What did you gain from that? I gained access to another area of that room. But I need to work on my chemistry abilities. I mean, I literally named the stream after, like, Chris's poor chemistry. Ridiculous puzzle? There is no non-ridiculous puzzle in this game. You like artistic nudity? I think everyone t technically does. Especially when it's like, your art. Look at this marvelous marble statue. Marble. Uh, oh yeah, here's the moment in time where I advocate for people on YouTube to hit that like button. Prove how much you love me, alright? Oh, that's parasocial as hell. Alright. Okay, okay. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. Chris is like, I too dumb. Me too dumb. Me make Bob me touch. Okay, I guess we gotta let Rebecca handle this one. Hit it nine times for you? I don't think you can hit it more than once, but I appreciate it. You just wanted to say you hit it nine times, didn't you? Alright, we're gonna like, in case we screw this up and I want to do all this over again, we're gonna like use up another ink ribbon, I know. I know. I hear your complaints. Yeah, this guy can fly a Harrier jet, but can't for the life of him mix a few liquids together. And we're gonna get strangled because you can't avoid it. That's a great element. Alright. Let's see. They need to give me some more of these soon. I think you put the box in the wrong place. I mean, it attacks me from both holes, so. No, I'll, I'll try moving in and see. Actually, I don't think I can move it anymore. Like, stuck in that one position. Like, there was a... Yeah, because there's one underneath of it as well. But whatever. Alright. How does she... See what becomes of us. Actually, we're almost done with the guest house. We'll be moving back to the mansion soon. Let me get into this. Uh, let's see. What happened to the puzzles in these games? Because, like, in the last Resident Evil game, wasn't the only puzzle the train station one? Uh, you mean in... What, what do you mean by last Resident Evil game? Like, Village 4? What? They definitely, like, cut back on, like, puzzles because they can't really justify them being so goofy anymore, I guess. So 
so that you have to like find ways to make them fit a bit more than just like here's some random books you uh oh oh it's like my japanese animes Awfully meaty looking plant. Don't you get a flamethrower as Chris you can use on this thing? <laughs> Those are very good, like, squish, squick sounds. Uh, so yeah. Well. Well, well. Well, we can't do anything about that without Rebecca. I don't know if she like sh shows up on her own once I leave here or like what. I've done everything else. Deal enough damage, yeah, but it, that'd take like all my ammo. I think I just have to get captured by Chris, as Chris, don't I? All right, let's go get our boy captured. You only get help from Rebecca if you fail to save that other guy. Uh, wait, she doesn't show up if she's if that guy's still alive because he's still alive. Wait, maybe he's the one that comes and saves you. <laughs> I think that's the only thing he does, though, is help you with this fight, isn't it? Hmm. I don't really have much ammo. Yeah, I'll try killing it. Who knows? got eaten by a shark. Okay, there's no way to save that guy. What's oh, hitting me with the burst? Ow. <laughs> It's like a fighting a boss that gives you a golden shower constantly. Stop getting rain drawn. <laughs> I don't think I can hit from down here.
This is not worth all the ammo. I don't want to win anymore. Well, I got plenty of shotgun ammo. That's all that really matters. Only if Richard died to poisoning, you get Rebecca's help here. If you gave him the antidote, you have to fight this boss proper. I mean, that, that feels like you'll... A bit of a punishment for doing a good deed. Yeah, I think she goes and mixes the chemicals for you if you... If she shows up. I was thinking maybe that guy, if you... If you save that guy from the snake bite, he shows up with a flamethrower and burns it for you, or then dies. Kind of forget what he does now that he's safe. Also, thank you for the 200 bits, Longingal. Well, there went all of my pistol ammo I've been stocking up. Will you take the mansion key? Also about the die. Eh, I'm only in caution. I've been in worse states. You even have it on the YouTube wrong character. You even have it on the YouTube. Well, I know. I, I just forgot what happens in Chris's version of it. Like I know Barry comes out and saves Jill. I didn't really. Re I just knew Rebecca would like mix the chemicals for you, but I didn't know what the trigger was. Nice helping me out back there. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. Wait, was she on her way into that room and then turned around? She was walking the opposite direction. Richard. He's gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Do you see me, woman? I'm holding my kidney. I got one left. Uh. Oh, yeah. We're done here. All done in this place. Got that through that about what I thought we'd do. Or that, that as long as I thought it would take. Could have punched the living shit out of the shark Chris. He hasn't learned these skills yet. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? I thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. I've already covered this entire place, Wesker. <laughs> Why do I go do the dangerous thing? What kind of boss do you think Wesker was before he real, you know, revealed that he's evil? He seems like he, he was respected by his peers. Like, oh, Wesker, he's a great boss. What are you talking about? Should have seen the pizza party we, he just threw for all of us. Wesker's prepared for the eclipse. <laughs> he's always prepared for it. He's always wearing those sunglasses. What was Wesker shooting in the original game? It was the bees. I think it's still what he was shooting here. They just don't see them as obviously. Okay, if you walk over the hole, the, the tentacle doesn't come out. I'm glad I only discovered that now. Okay, so. Not much ammo in this pistol. We're going to be needing the shoddy.
Wish I could empty this the six rounds out of this. I'm going to have to be more sparing with the rest of these ink ribbons. They're not really giving me many right now. Alright, uh... Things that crazy old doc says. What did I say that was that abnormal? What did I say? You gotta be specific, alright? Alright. Uh, heal. I'm in caution right now. Like, I'm pretty sure if caution, a hunter can still kill you in one hit if it does, like, the leap at you. Why is this thing I killed not grabbing me? Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot that. I, I was actually thinking that was something separate from the plant. I, for some reason, I didn't connect the two. Time to leave this wretched place. You want to empty the six shots of that gun? Uh, I probably, well, I'll, when I need to. Right now I'm good. I got like 20, plenty of shotgun ammo, 31 rounds. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. The way he said that made it sound like he said his name was Krista Brad. Something just about that they slurred it together. It's like Krista Brad. Thirty-one round. Yeah, I've been saving this shotgun ammo for this moment. I knew I'm gonna need it. All right, where am I? Meat. Sorry, old yeller. Fuck you. You took a shotgun around and kept coming. Necessary to use this now? Oh no, no, no. First aid, why is this not healing me? Nothing unusual. Do you gotta open it up? <laughs> oh. That's a little unnecessary, isn't it, now to make this a separate item that you then just open up to get it out? the crank don't I I'm gonna need the, yeah I need the crank shit for God there's like something behind this waterfall you can get right <clears throat> bet Capcom was like people will love all the interactivity they're so big brained every developer thinks they're a genius at all times even when they're making foolish mistakes. Guard needs crank. Like I'm pretty sure we can use we can do the crank thing now.
How long is the laboratory in this game? I kind of forgot how long that takes me to get through. I need to make sure I have enough for a stream tomorrow. Two hours to get through the lab? Okay, that's enough for a stream. I just gotta make sure I stop when I reach it. Yeah, because uh, uh, there's only so much of the mansion left and then you can get down into it, so... Regardless of... We're not ending right now, but as soon as I get to the point where I can get into the laboratory, that's where I'll stop at. You had to fight Lisa? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I kind of forgot about that she has some more parts in this game. Isn't she more prominent in Jill's campaign? For some reason I keep telling myself that and I think it's wrong. Have we fought Yawn the second time? Nope, not yet. We only just now finished up the, the guest house. Now we're heading back to the mansion and we'll soon be fighting hunters and stuff. Doubt you'll reach the lab tonight? You know, that's fine too. As long as I can finish the game tomorrow. All right, uh, this is still not available, I don't think. Or is it? Okay. Uh, or do that, let me go back down. Don't you'll reach the Resident Evil. I mean, uh, there's also the original Resident Evil 1. Chad, do you know what the very first official confirmed Let's Play style content was? Or what game it was? It was literally the very original Resident Evil being played by this terrified Japanese guy. I, it's like very, very early internet stuff. I think it like counts as technically the very first what you'd call a Let's Play. Because he's using like a hand cam to record the screen. Uh, it was just, he was like, this game is scary, but in Japanese. And it's like fighting spiders and shit. Battery has been taken out. Okay, we can't go this way yet. Haven't seen that. I couldn't find, I went looking for it once, but I couldn't find the footage. You'd think someone would have, you know, recorded it and uploaded it. But it was like well known at the time. But yeah, so this would have been like, this probably would have been either like late 1990s when watching a video online was not exactly easy. Or early 2000s. Next! No, you did not just, okay, I didn't, I didn't get poisoned. I was going to be cross. Actually, maybe I didn't need the crank. We'll use it because we, we brought it with us. Thoughts on Demon Souls remake? Uh, I thought it was all right. Obviously, it was like proto souls, and they built off it and made much better games later. Because uh, there was definitely some infuriating parts of it. But yeah, it's alright. But fuck that gargoyle boss fight, though. Crossfire? The, you mean the, the classic children's game? Crossfire! You'll get caught up in the. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4 OG or Remaster? For me, I love them both, but Resident Evil 4 OG uh, takes it. It just has like the proper like goofy charm that works in the plot. And whereas Resident Evil 4 Remake tries to play it more serious. 
and then it kind of loses a little bit of that charm despite still being a great game. Okay, we're right here. OG, like I said, Resident Evil 4, when you actually like remove the, you know, almost like Evil Dead style goofiness and slapstick charm from Resident Evil 4, you kind of realize that the plot of it ain't that great. It's only like really entertaining when you have that extra layer of like, just like, what the hell kind of shit going on, which in the 4 tried its best to play it straight and I don't feel it worked as well as they thought it would. It worked, eh. I feel it needs that, that humor to it, but it still is a great game. And they did keep some of the charm there, but they had to like cut out a lot and then add it back in with the DLC. All right, uh, back in here. Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, just back in this this transitory room. Biggest downgrade is Ashley's ears. You like those big ears she had before? A lot of people did. Wesker, you shouldn't have. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Thank God, Wesker, you're so cool. Fixing doorknobs? Leaving his supplies? What a shame, I gotta kill you later. <laughs> well, I gotta like, you know, well, we find out about you later. <laughs> he could have been a good boss chat. Your right hand comes off. Yeah, there, there's something about all the shit talk between your know, Leon and uh, Salazar that I just like, mwah. We don't need that there anymore. Also, uh, Super Tramp. Five more gifted memberships, dude. Thank you. Big ups to you. Uh, if you guys got a gift membership, send him some things. Alright, so we now can explore more of the mansion. So, okay, there's that room. On the, there's only the... Okay, the, I think the that room on the second floor will be our first one. And then we have... Some stuff on the second. Okay, first floor. Yeah, get the first floor out of the way. Then we have a room up on the second floor. Uh, a couple of stuff on the second floor, actually. I think this area is full of zombies. Hey, GMC, have a good night, man. As soon, I think as soon as we're in here, that's when the hunters spawn. Or maybe not. Oh, here they come. Speaking of Evil Dead. Oh! I like how he's like, what is this? Hurry up and blow up, you stupid grenade. Takes care of that one issue. Mm, okay, this doorknob is still only one way. I don't really want to go down there yet, so we're going to continue on. Then again, I got a lot of shit on me and I can't like pick up new items. So I kind of have to. Interior crocodile alligator. You know what? That song is good, but I think Dracula flow is kind of overcome it. Oh, 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 frogs. <laughs> Wesker fixed. I thought he only fixed the broken one.
Also, why does Wesker have the ability to just fix random broken doorknobs? Oh yeah, there, I still have this key that I have not gotten to use, so we might as well bring that with us. Master, you, the master of repairs. These ones, we don't have to worry about them coming back. So we can just blast away. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, let's see if this, what this door is. Two way now. Nope, the doorknob has been repaired. Oh, it is. <clears throat> so... So it's covering up an incident with zombies still stupid. Uh, well this wasn't actually a cover up. This was him wanting to test all the stuff out against the stars. Oof, that was a good shot. Midair even. I didn't realize they were so caked up. I'm going to blow through this shotgun ammo quick at this rate. Do you all have cyber cafes near you? I got a regular, like, you know, coffee cafe near me. And that's it. No cyber, no, you know, internet cafe, unfortunately. All right. Let me get some more of these green herbs. Well, actually, I don't have enough. Nope, can't. Don't have enough space to pick up other items. You know who else is caked up? Not my mama. Well, I'm caked up. Or at least I've been told. Do your squatch chant. Cake is easily attainable. Okay, well, you thought I wouldn't share this information? I I, I share everything, all right? Everything. Saying he was caked up is going to go in the ASMR. I'm super caked up. There, I'll even give it you, like, directly into the microphone. All right. Uh, let us go in here. Look, I do my squats, and I do weighted squats of that. And lunges, too. Amongst other exercises. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would play off, pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while, because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting, not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Hmm. Portrait of a woman with a sad look in her eyes. Have you picked up the medallion thingy? Uh, the one that was that you used to get to the research area. I mean, the the guest house. Yeah, I picked that back up. I kind of need these.
I like that with a mirror. That's a nice trick. That's how you use the angles properly. That is freaking clever. <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Hmm. Okay, they, they just give you like a bunch of blue herbs and a green herb and then the box. So we gotta come back to this room after I store stuff away. Nobody questions where the owner is the mansion. Well, the owner is the, Sp the Umbrella Corporation, and the guy who runs that is Suspensa. And he's in, like, in Europe in a castle somewhere. You're naughty? Okay, you can only, like, get away with saying you're naughty in regards to, like, well... Certain activities. I'm naughty. I'm sorry, but the word naughty has been co-opted to mean something else than it used to. They, the, the music even played. Thank you, Logical. I'm so naughty. Like, no one ever says it because if you say the word naughty, you know what it implies. What about naughty dog? Okay, that's different. It's putting the word dog after it. Have you been holding hands in public? I've done worse than that. <clears throat> I've done worse than that. God, I hate this hallway so much. It's so hard to navigate. <laughs> Naughty Dog needs to be- have you, have, you, have you guys seen Naughty Dog's first ever video game chat before they got famous? It is like a wretched fighting game. Just absolutely horrid for like the 3DO. It's like, how did this company ever survive and become what it is? All right, don't need ink ribbon. Uh, I don't really need the heal, technically. Way of the Warrior, is that it? I don't remember the name. I just know it's like a really wretched fighting game. Math Jam is their first game. Are you thinking of Way of the Warrior? So I well, I I, I didn't know of Math Jam. Was that does that actually count as a game though? Math Jam. Did Naughty Dog do Jack and Daxter? Yes. Actually, I'm one of those people that really likes Jack too, by the way. Some people didn't like Jack too, but I was like, hey, this game is pretty cool. <laughs> Do you think you'll do Jack and Daxter for classic sins? I don't know. I've never really considered that one, actually. Maybe at some point I'll, like, do some Jack games. Jack 2 for classic. I mean, I do like that game, and it's definitely sinnable. And for that opinion, you must be shunned that I will consider it, but I just never thought of it before. So judgmental. I don't think this is the art room that note mint, is it? It's like the other one upstairs. That I like Jack. You don't like Jack 2? Jack 2 is a perfectly fine game. How many Patreons for Jack? Wait, I won't make that a stretch. The only stretch goals I'm making for the Patreon are for like, yo, 
Persona 5 and then 3. I'm fine with if if we get to like Persona three level stretch goals, and I'm kind of set. <laughs> Wouldn't need much more after that. Will you still need to send Persona three reload? Yeah, like I said, I'm setting the stretch goal for like one thousand for, like one thousand uh, subscribers on Patreon for like Patre uh, for like Persona five, and then I think it's like twenty five hundred subscribers on Patreon for Persona three. Have I played Ico? I briefly played Ico. I never finished it though. What about Spyro? I actually don't really know much about Spyro. I played a demo of it once when I was a child, and that was it. Oof. You can just knock doors down? But the precious loading gate there, it's gone now. Never seen that before, what, I'm breaking the door down? Alright. You, uh, did you ever play any of the Persona? I've never, the only Persona game I've ever played is the like Catherine, which is like set in the same universe, but obviously not a Persona game. Uh, but I've never played, it became a meme because I just like always refuse to send them because their freaking one Atlas will like definitely copyright claim it or worse. And it's just like, it'd be so much work, but you know what? The, the FF7 video is just as much work as a Persona game, so now it wouldn't even feel as bad making it, other than the amount of time it'd take. <laughs> but, I've, but yeah, in terms of length, actually, yeah, I think FF7 is about as long as Persona 5. The round recession approximately four centimeters in diameter. Hmm. Nothing else I can do in here right now, is there? Yeah. Now there is like, looks like a hidden room in here. There's like a empty hallway in the middle. This look, oh no, this, this, this right here looks suspicious to me. Like it's gonna slide up. Assassin's Creed Mirage. Look, I've I've got Assassin's Creed Red coming up this this year. That'll be the much more important Assassin's Creed game. You really want me sending two Assassin's Creed game in one year? Are you trying to kill me? You want my death? All right. I guess we go up to the second floor now. See what we can get up to up there. Let's finish off the east wing. There's only one room left to check. He dies, he dies. He bleeds, he can kill him. Right, over here. Go through there and we come around and we'll be there. Skies of Arcadia. I plan to play that now that I have a Dreamcast. No. These don't get back up, do they? After you kill them? Uh, can I respond to your question? Uh, what is your question? You could make a Resident Evil monster. What would they be like then? And what would they do? What kind of Resident Evil monster would I make? Hmm... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Something I have to put more thought in than just like on the top of my head because I don't have a prepared response. Uh, I don't know. I think... Honestly, a mimic type enemy for Resident Evil. Something that tries to look like something in the environment and then when you go for it, like attacks you. 
That could be pretty good, right? So instead of like the item box, it's a mimic. You know what? What about you know what? More D and D enemies in like Resident Evil. Give us a slime mold that like sucks you in and like <laughs> melts you. All right. This game still says there's like an item in this room, and I have never found it that I'm missing. And I have run Chris's face over everything. Unless it was just reading this. I think it might have just been reading that I missed out on. Stop bullying? Who's being bullied? Oh, it just was that. Okay. Sucks you in? Well, that's what a slime cube does. What do you what do you want me to say? Eating gold? You want me to say eating gold stew? Alright. Am I going to get stellar blue? Oh, you're asking base that. What game will you be streaming after you're done with this one? I've given consideration to like streaming Silent Hill 3. So I, I need to re-record that. I, I don't have the footage of it got was like never recorded properly when I played it a few years ago so and you know what we might as well keep the horror like streams going for a bit so I'm thinking Silent Hill 3 and I also wouldn't mind playing Eternal Darkness again and recording it this time since I could make a classic sin video out of it the Silent Hill one of those games where like the audio was uh Fucked up. No, in, when the Silent Hill 3 footage, uh, the audio was all that got recorded. They didn't record any of the, you know, the video. Oh shit, no 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 uh oh what what have I done? What have I done? No 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 Oof You are almost a Chris sandwich Chris sandwich is not gonna be anywhere near as tasty as a Jill sandwich by the way. I need to figure out what to do with this puzzle. Hundred bits Monte Cristo sandwich, Monte Cristo. This way it's gonna be quick. Oh, we probably gotta put it in there, right? That's gonna be difficult to do. That's just wrong. What's wrong? Being judged awfully harshly tonight. this correctly. <laughs> I'm just guessing, right? Camera, camera, work with me, camera.
No, 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 I almost had it. Fuck. No, no, Chris. I got limited time here, Chris. <laughs> Use those muscles, my man. Use the muscle. Not enough time. Well, this puzzle kind of blows. <laughs> Shit. Want to specifically add more long armed enemies to Resident Evil that just grab you from before? Or from within vents, like in Little Nightmares? Uh, sure. Why not? They did have those, like, yellow stretchy tyrants in New York. Apparently, you know, I almost said like, the wrong name. Veronica X. No, you pushed it too far. You pushed it too far, Chris. Uh. Hmm. Push it. For, it's all the way up against flush against the wall right now, isn't it? Okay, yeah, there's a little... I uh, did need one more shove, but... Will ever do a stream of Baldur's Gate 3? I actually have done some Baldur's Gate 3 streams. I just never, like, did but more than a couple. This is ass. <laughs> Such ass. I think I just fucked up. Don't have enough time now. I hate this is terrible. Worst puzzle in the game. I don't remember if Jill had to do this puzzle, did she? I'm just like off by like a half a second every time. I'm ready to be squished to be done with this. We're winning, no one's winning at this puzzle. It's terrible. Still not out of time. Why? Why? Just why? Just why? Why did you push? He could have done it there, but he wouldn't push. Oh, you, you freaking you go back to playing high school football, Chris. You're not cut out for this. Or whatever it is that you peeked at in your life, because it wasn't this. I 
I don't think this... Am I doing this wrong? Is this just wrong? This feels like I'm, this is what you gotta do, but I feel like I'm just like... It just ain't working. Make sure it's pushed up all it is. I can't push any further. It's just like I can't get in to do that less. I need like a half second more. Yeah, it doesn't go any further. Am I gonna blow? I'm I'm about to yasm. <laughs> Just, why did he push it? You, I had enough time, but he just won't push it then. He pushing left. Uh, now it should slide automatically. Wait, it, it slides on and on. You don't push it forward. If unequip the shotgun, you should move. Really, you move slower when you have the shotgun. But thank you for the two dollar super chat, by the way. You don't have to push it forward, you just push it left. God. I'm, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna kill. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kill. Why does it slide in automatically, though? It makes. You feel like you would slide it over and then you'd come in and slide it in. All of that pain and suffering for nothing. For like, because the stupid puzzle just does it automatically. Oh. And that is some shit logic. <laughs> exactly. What is this? There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down? Not yet. Uh, I kind of want to save before we go fight the snake. Hello, Dart. Hey, how, what's it up, Emma? I am? I am? How you doing, man? Alright, uh... Yeah, I don't want to fight the snake yet, but we've basically done... Remind me to go kill the snake, but, uh, we now have basically this, the west wing. It's all that's left to, like, explore. I haven't finished using the sword key. I know, I don't know where the last new door is for it. It's somewhere. And I should have, like, already opened it before I even left for, like, the research house. Three hours? That is how long I've been streaming. Uh, bet... Most wouldn't remember these names, Shadowgate, Maniac Mansion. Uh, I've never played any of those games, but I've seen YouTube videos on some of them. <laughs> All right. I haven't played that game, but I've seen someone talk about it at length as a you know, legitimate response these days. Alright, we're gonna go kill us a snake. I'm not gonna need the keys for this, so let's put these down here for a minute. Mm, 
Take one of these just in case. I don't think I'll need all that, but you know what? Might as well err on the side of caution. Oh, I got... Okay. You just sealed that up in a box, did you? Can we end the stream at yawn? Uh, I mean, I got more stuff I can do in it. I mean, I could wait. So yeah, if you really want to, I can wait until we can go, we can go check out the rest of the building first. I just picked up all this, this, this stuff right here, though. Yawn, that's the name of the snake. Hey, Dart, how would you ever consider... Would I ever consider streaming Resident Evil Zero? Uh, I, I didn't really have any reason to, because I already, like, streamed that game years ago on Twitch, and I made a video on it. So, and I don't really particularly like Resident Evil Zero compared to, like, other Resident Evil games. So I can't really justify it, to be honest. All right, let us go over. Uh, didn't that guy say there's something in the the in the art room? Oh, that might be a different room, maybe. Uh, anyways, let me think. Yeah, I think okay, the art room is that other art room. See the see the there she you know. There's like a room over there I can get into. Uh, so we go around and we'll be there. Remember the video you made on it? Absolutely loved it. Just curious. Didn't know you streamed before. Well, like I said, I've been streaming for years on Twitch. And I've only recently begun streaming on YouTube as well at the same time. So there's been a lot of games I've streamed over the years. Many, many games. I have an entire stream archive, though. Uh, so you could still watch that stream. It's you just look for like Dartigan streams on YouTube, and it'll probably bring up the archive channel where I archived like several years worth of Twitch streams. So if you do want to watch my live stream of Resident Evil Zero, it is out there for you to watch. Did you check those doors I mentioned a minute ago? Uh, I'm I'm getting ready to go check. The only doors left really to open are the ones that just like change areas on the west wing of the map. Definitely have to check it out. Thank you for the info. Yeah, but uh, you can find the stream archive even easier if you click on the you should if you look in the information box on YouTube, you'll see a link to my Twitch channel. Uh, go there and then scroll down, and you'll find a banner that says YouTube, and underneath that, you'll find the link to the stream archive channel directly. From there, you can just search for whatever game you want to find. Did you port your Twitch to YouTube? Uh, no, I'm streaming on Twitch right now, as, as well as YouTube. See, the thing is, uh, uh, for the longest time, if you were a Twitch partner, you couldn't stream on other platforms. It was part of your contract, so I couldn't stream on YouTube. Uh, I had to, like, stick to streaming solely on Twitch, but they recently, like, end of last year, changed that up and allow you to stream on other channels, I mean, other, like, platforms and simultaneously if you want. So I was, like, decided to take advantage of that finally. So yeah, there's something behind this, isn't there? That guy mentioned specifically this painting. And as you can see on the map, there is an, a room directly behind it. Does anyone know how you get into it? I thought maybe you, like, burn it? But it doesn't look like it's interactable. Whatever, I'll grab the knife. This guy's like, I've been waiting. This is supposed to happen at the beginning of the game. Like, zombies ain't even scared anymore, bro. I'm fighting lizard men.
When you end up back at the area you first met Lisa Trevor, there'll be an item box. Remove the gold crest from the box and have three spare inventory slots. Oh, you mean that her little house? Yeah, I guess we'll be going back there eventually. I'm just trying to remember how, like I know there's a this picture. That guy mentioned it in a note. And there's does anyone know before I leave here? There is a room behind it, but I don't know how to get into it. Unless I need a specific item. It's a new game. Oh, it's a new game plus thing. Is that where you get the costumes at, I think? Why don't you aim the shotgun up when the zombie is close to you? That doesn't really get, help you get headshots as much as you think. Like, head, headshots are RNG. They happen sometimes, and sometimes it, even if you're aiming directly at their head, you don't still don't get one. Alright, so everything is on the second floor, and technically the third and basement as well. So, what do we check first? You know what? Let's go check the basement, because I have not been down there in quite a while. Good job clearing the regions in Final Fantasy Rebirth. Uh, it's so long. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Quite a bit, in fact. But I got it done. What does this game let you aim up to fuck with you? Uh, Technically, if they're really close to you, you and if there are, there's some enemies that are above you, like that plant boss I fought earlier. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those like things you think aiming up... Look, Oftentimes you aim up, you'll just miss. The shot will go over their head, unless they're really close to you. With a shotgun, it's a guaranteed head destruction. I mean, I feel like I've done it a few times and didn't get the guaranteed head destruction. You just finished Grasslands 100%. Uh, did, you, did, you, did you scan all the enemies? Because it's not only just that, but if you want to get all the good materia from Chadley, you got to do stuff like constantly scanning enemies. Sure did. Oh yeah, you you are a trooper then. Oh, that's where I needed to use that key at. I remember I used it here, and then I died, and then I forgot to ever come back down here and use it. No door skip. You are a brave man. I like the door skip. The door animations. It adds atmosphere. So 25 bits. You call the hunters lizard men. That's not far off. According to the lore, hunters were made by injecting reptilian DNA into human embryos. And they're as smart as orangutans. Nightmarish. What, what has Umbrella done? See, upward right into his chin, no instant head head schmushk. Though it did kill him. No head pop though. See it took two there. This is like RNG usually. I gotta come down and burn that damn corpse before he turns into a red skull later, or a, you know, a crimson head. Luckily, there's a save room right over here. Yeah, I don't want to make sure I go in that room with the two crimson heads. Like I've done before. Last of Us 2 is like the most brutal game ever. Speaking of The Last of Us, I will be playing The Last of Us 1's DLC relatively soon. 
Because I'll probably be making that into a DLC Sins video before long. I need to get that shit recorded. Uh, so I'm assuming I'll be buying the more recent... The, the most recent like remake of Last of Us 1 comes with that in it, doesn't it? Like you get that for free uh, as part of it? And can you go directly to it or do you gotta play the game all the way up to the point in time where it happens? What was the whole goal of Umbrella's goal with it? I think they wanted to make bioweapons because for some reason they thought they could sell it. PS4 remaster does too. Save your money. I mean, it makes more sense to like use the most recent version, but yeah, it's, I'm, I'm still debating what version of it I'll do it on. You can play it right away, but it does warn you about spoilers. Well, I've already played the game, so I do know. But no spoilers for me. Uh, okay. Why am I why am I headed back here? There's no reason for me to head this way. What was even in this room? Write off the taxes. Yep. Oh, yeah, this was this room. Uh, they do give me plenty of plants, so I might as well use one of these. So this, this was Umbrella's grow room. We all agree, right? They were growing weed in here. There's no reason why you'd have this indoors. Like, this is our illegal grow room. We made it very fancy because we're wealthy. Like, if you walk into this at anyone else's home, with this, like, water pump and, like, fertilizer, you're like, this is their grow room. Made it, bro. Have you played like like a Age? Through Blood or Ghost Runner 2. Those are excellent. The only one of those I recognized is Ghost Runner. And I played Ghost Runner 1, but not 2. And yeah, Ghost Runner is pretty good. But never, I never got to finish it though. Just wasn't really feeling it. Or at least for like streaming. Alright, uh, we need to head upstairs. Okay, so do I need anything else? I don't think I do. Technically, I don't think I need this small key on me. I know where that goes, and I don't need it right now. Hey, where'd our injured friend go, by the way? You think Rebecca would have told us when we met her in the, you know, the guest house that this guy gone up and left? Oh yeah, he got better. I don't know what he's up to, though. He's dead? He's not dead. <clears throat> oh wait, was that- wait, was that him that got eaten by the shark? I thought that was someone else. Okay, I didn't recognize him, but that was such stupid of a waste. He's like, oh, we saved him only to get eaten. Did he have anything else he could have done besides just die to the shark? Was he doomed from the beginning? Either dies of poison or, or eaten by the shark. What a what, what a canon event he has. Hmm. Mail to Chief of Security. <clears throat> X Day is drawing upon us. Uh execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as examples, excluding tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. <clears throat> Ensure complete disposal. Complete global disposal. <laughs> of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. 
Yes, the gigantic explosion was an accident in the mansion. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extinction, extinction number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Incorporated. Little bird. Not close enough. Also, burn this paper. Yeah, instead of leaving it. Well, I guess it'll burn in the explosion, right? should shoot the eagle. I don't want to waste bullets. <laughs> Wait a minute. Light switch. Oh. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna leave and come back in to reset the box. The moment is gone. It's too late now. What? What's too late? Glowing ju yellow jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes. It's attached to something and refuses to budge. Alright, what about this one over here? Her name is Little Bitty Ray and she's shorter than you by one inch. What is it? You guys comparing heights? What combat data? They all died. They, yeah, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Most of them really didn't do much, so their com maybe they just, the stars kind of sucked. They wouldn't have made they wouldn't have been able to like you know, tell much of how effective their BOWs are. But then again, I guess the that was the B team. They need like the good ones here. That scared me. That was loud. Did I fuck this up? Uh, but thank you for the 100 bits, Lucky. Yeah, I, I have my audio up because this game is not exactly loud. So it just like... Complete! <laughs> uh, okay, uh... I need to get that. I just realized there's like a one on this side. What am I doing? <laughs> We're doing a test run trial to see how it works on regular civilians. Uh, technically they had already like, yeah, the reason stars was here because they had them kill some civilians. Glowing red jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Attach to something and refuse. What is the point of this then? You return to your dinner? Hmm. The eagle has a blind sight. I know there's like, it's making like a clunk sound, but. 
when it got all the way over. Oh, okay, I see. I gotta make him stop looking. Mine now, bird. Mine! I forget what I use this for. I think I put it in that statue downstairs. How do you achieve Dardigan genius levels? You don't want that. Okay, we're rich. I think that's all we get out of here, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Gotta ask, who took the time to settle this bullshit up? You know, I think there's actually a canon explanation for the designer of this place, but I forget what it was. Okay, uh, I guess we can get into the box now, right? I don't know. I forget even what is in this thing. I think I'm also missing pieces of it, aren't I? The brain, the brain, it stings. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one I have in it is the is the bottom piece I need. Let's work from that instead of going any other direction. Uh, 
um, so that's clearly wrong. However, this piece feels correct. Your brain stinks, but yeah, well, have you ever smelled a brain? Am I just missing pieces of this thing? I feel like I don't have enough pieces to actually slot it in. I'll try again. Okay. No, that's that's all the pieces. doesn't look right. Uh, you have actually smelled a brain. What does it smell like then? You know, I'll, I'll do this later. I don't want to spend all night on this stupid puzzle. Put all the boxes away for the time being. I got doors to open, chat. Let's see, is the red the yellow it's the red one I need for the, the lion, right? Biggest piece first, puzzle too hard for crisp. Look, this guy can't even do simple chemistry, alright? I, I adapt my chat, I I gain the brain of the character player, of the player character, so. I, I have to work within the confines. Alright, let us go put this in the lion's eye. Can be waste my ammo game. You stop being you're not the dogs, alright? You can't keep doing this. <sighs> Fourteen. Well, ten least six more in the other shotgun. gun. Yellow gem is for the lion. Crap. You shot too soon, waste a shot. That'll happen sometime. That'll happen sometime, you know. You're out a Charlotte. Have a good night. Yeah, it's a coat of arms, but goddamn, is it doesn't seem like I got enough pieces to like solve it for some reason. There's like big gaps in like the shapes. It would help you with the puzzle. Eh, it's all right. I'll get it eventually. I think it's just another crest for getting the magnum. It's in it, if I'm not mistaken. Which I won't need until like later. All right. When did chat become a therapy session? It looks like away for two minutes. You know, my chat is all about healing. And becoming better people through video games and weird jokes. Do 
you take the emo disc. Isn't that what you need to get the, the best ending? For like saving Jill. Here's to be a disc for rebooting a system of some sort. How much of the game? Not the stream. Mm, okay, so we, got, we don't really need that right now. Two hours left. Yeah, but well, there's like the entire like laboratory is still left, and I still haven't even finished exploring the mansion. Uh, okay, don't need to go in there. Wrong way. Or to get the good ending, you have to say, wow, what a mention. I've got that record. I think I've said that more than any other living human at this point. Sewers so in lab. Yeah, so we got, we got at least another stream of this. Which actually lines up with my schedule pretty well because tomorrow I finish up the script. And then the following day I'll be like recording my lines and then... Starting the editing process, so I'll, I'll need that time anyways. Alright, uh... We'll take a Gwina up with me. Wow! What a mansion! Thank you. Lovely in this in the fall season as well, with the colors changing. Uh, but thank you for the 100 bits, Lucky. Much appreciated. Alright, we are headed upstairs because we got rooms to check out. Mansion, mansion. Anytime, hey. It's almost like you're a good person who likes making jokes. Hey, Dardigan, what kind of mic are you using? It sounds so crisp. I am using, uh, you've almost certainly seen it many times before. It is a Shure SM7B. These are, the, they're those gigantic black mics you see in front of every YouTuber or streamer these days. Then uh, that's because they're very good at rejecting off access noise, which is like something very important for people who are just like streaming from their bedroom or anywhere else in their house where there's gonna be, where not instead of like a sound studio. That's why everyone uses them. Uh, but they're, they're pricey. They're like 350 to 400 bucks. But it is like the standard mic for content creation these days. It was like the first thing I bought once I started making money off this. Oh, this room. This frickin' room. Shit, is that still locked? Oh. Yeah, I guess we gotta go up and around and maybe down. I'm tempted to kill you, buddy. I am so tempted to kill you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take a hit. <laughs> Where am I? Another one went boom. Alright, so... Maybe we can go up this way now. Sounds like it's definitely worth the money. Uh, well, you need to keep in mind, you also need a mixer and a good one. You can't just hook this up USB to your, uh, like a USB microphone. This is XLR only. So you'll be spending the money for the microphone and you'll need a good mixer, which will be another couple hundred bucks. So all in all, if it's like, I forget, I think it's like 350 to 400 bucks for the mic. So you're playing at least a $200 mixer on top of that.
My play through this game is so hilarious, like the ghosts constantly harassing Jill and the guy killing himself to escape an umbrella and burning in hell. So is this is this my playthrough? Or are you talking about someone else? If so, I, I'm very flattered. Hear noises. Wait, is this the snake fight? I thought that was like the hole in the other room back there. Yep, this is the snake bite. Oh well, I guess we're doing this now. Was it? Oh, reloading. <laughs> Darks. It played through. I just realized that he has a new playthrough of Saturn version of this game, and I want to read it. Yeah. Dark ID. Okay, someone else. All right, we're gonna use one of these. Actually, we probably want to use two. Actually, I'm not dying yet, so I won't bother. That was easy. Yeah, the snake is more impressive to look at than intimidating. It's definitely harder in the Resident Evil 1 version of the game, I believe. Or like the, the PS1 version of it. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. And inside the last book, Volume 2, is there a special way to use it? I think in the original game, the only time that examine function was actually useful is when you're looking for those medallions and books. And I remember my older brother, I watched him play through this game because I was too scared to play it. He never figured out how to get the medallions because he didn't know you could open the books. He never ended up beating the Resident Evil 1 because of that. He didn't know you, I, neither of us knew you could just like examine the books to open them. All right, we're done in here. The knob is broken. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you, is this room here inaccessible to me? And it's like only a Jill room because both of these doors are I can't get through the other one, and this one won't open for me either. Unless you come up from like oh you come up from the elevator. I see. Never mind. The elevator is the only way up. Oh well. All right, I guess we can go back and dive down that hole we found in that one room. Books can be read. I mean, the idea of like examining an item in your inventory like that was like new to us. What what has Silent Hill taught you about just driving diving in any hole you see that it's the right thing to do because it always leads to the end of the game? 
Hey, it never seemed to hurt, you know, any of the characters when they jump down those holes. All right. Yeah, I need to go back over to the other wing and jump down that hole in that one area. And then I think we... Actually, what? I think we go back to Lisa Trevor's, or whatever name out. What, Lisa Trevor, whatever name is, place. He totally touched me. Pardon? Becoming a YouTube producer is hard, <clears throat> but also not hard depending on what you're doing. Gaming channels need a lot more equipment and program. Well, all of it requires equipment. You need cameras and everything else because you need good stuff these days. The price of competition has gone up as other quality has gone up. Uh oh. Uh, but actually, what you need more than anything else is you need luck. Which is not something you can always get. Got it right, Lisa Trevor. Yeah, for some reason that thing sounded wrong to me when I said it. Do I also like multiplayer shooters? Are you only interested in story? Typically, I primarily only play single player stuff. On occasion, I do play some multiplayer. Uh, but my focus has always been single player stuff. I have I have been giving thought to like playing maybe Hell Divers two and possibly uh, uh, Lethal Company and content uh, warning or content whatever that content warning game soonish. Uh, but I have no set date if I'm going to or not. Might as well get this old key used up. Ooh, I just realized we're running low on the ammo again after all this fighting. <laughs> oof, 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 chat. Uh... I'm about to exchange shotguns because the other one has more rounds in it. How many ink ribbons do I have? Four, and I don't want to use another one up yet. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, let's go dive down the hole. <clears throat> Someone scream objection and play the Phoenix Wright music. I don't know the I don't know the Phoenix Wright music, but I know the objection. Hmm. Never play rhythm games because I want full control. Yeah, I'm not into rhythm games either. We all love Dart again, but I know there's Lurkers too. Internet is wild, wild west. Well, Lurkers are perfectly fine. Uh, some people just want to have like a stream open in and like in a tab while they're exploring some other website. Perfectly fine. All right. Anything? Which window? Go here. Yeah. Could do this quicker. This way and around back to the other wing real quick. And then we head to Lisa's place. I do sound like I'm in a podcast. I got that podcaster voice. I think I my voice has been described as just about everything at this point. There's like, I, I, I encompass all roles that a voice can do. ASMR guy, radio voice, uh, podcaster, streamer. Any other, any other titles I should be earning? I, I have this, the, 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 you know what, this might, I, I'm glad I stopped myself, that would have been stupid. I have the Chad, the Supreme Chad voice, no. No, only people in real life ever mention my voice. It's only people, you freaks on the internet who seem to like it. Have any of your family members come to talk to you about one of your videos? Nope. 
Good thing I have a very small family. <laughs> it's really like the only people in my family I see, I've seen in years, are like my mom and my little brother. Dart is a Johnny Sins of- You know, I'm pretty sure my voice is deeper than his. I got Johnny Sins beat in voice category. And other categories too. Mainly hair. I got a full head of it. I think he has this way. Old key for door next to painting lights where you took a mask. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the old key is for, uh, down, the, it's, uh, to get through that gate that gets you to the cemetery quicker, actually. So, yeah, it's right there. I don't really need it at this point, but I'm just going to use it because I have it. But right now we're going to that, that hole in the, in the floor. Didn't jump through it earlier because I thought it was where the snake was. Turns out it wasn't. I realize I don't have a gun equipped either. How big is my... Mm, oh yeah, what's the size of your Adam's apple? You know what? That's not terribly prominent on me, my Adam's apple. I'm kind of glad. I've never liked the look of like a really st stuck out Adam's apple. Just adding extra chat other than about your game. Hey, dude, talk all you like in chat. That's what it's for. <clears throat> You'll never see me complain of people like having conversations in my live chat. That's the whole point. <clears throat> but I appreciate you doing that, though. I need a drink. <clears throat> my voice is getting rough. <clears throat> Tell YouTube chat my cock size, 6.1. Think I'm embarrassed? <clears throat> I think I've already mentioned that before, actually. Eagle of South Wolfendorf. Where, like, where did my voice go? We were talking about my voice and now look at it. It's, it's like running from me. <clears throat> 6.1 centimeters. You realize I use American units, right? I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes. This guy realized there's windows he could break, right? I can't get out of this house. Windows everywhere. And this was like back in 1967, so there wasn't even like zombies around. Been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? First, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to my eye, my mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known, yeah, this guy built this place and couldn't even figure his way out of it. It was a dark room and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. Thank you for the bit. Two, three, oh, that's a 300-bit one? Jesus. I need to, like, lower the price on that one. A grave, but deeply engraved in the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. These bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything's becoming far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. <clears throat> you are cool as fuck. Who, me? Who, me? 
<coughs> Let me say that. <coughs> Hold the fuck on. What is what my voice? <coughs> it's like what I sound like after recording lines all day. <coughs> George Trevor is a switch person. I'm a greedy motherfucker. What am I doing that's greedy? I'm actually quite generous. You have been eight hours of constant stream chat. Totally only about four. Unless you're like doubling it because I've got two streams going. I think it's friendly. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Just exploded everywhere. Do you have anything to drink? I have some cold brew coffee with me. <laughs> Oof, not good. One shot remaining. Get water, coffee. I'm actually not dehydrated. Just my voice was getting scratchy. Okay, I can. I have. I don't have ammo or anything to deal with this place right now. In fact, I am like. I think I've got a few bullets left remaining. They're, they have. They really don't give you any ammo on the return trip here. I was feeling so good about how much ammo I had when I came back to the mansion, and it's just been burnt through by all the lizard people. Oh, I actually can't leave now. <laughs> All right, we're, we're committed. We have to run past it. <coughs> Maybe we'll find ammo down here. Of the cardboard box lies the discarded shell of a molting spider. I see shotgun ammo there. Give it to me. Give it to me. No, I don't even have the knife on me. Stop gooing me. <laughs> Stream keeps freezing. Are you guys getting strong? Uh, um, I think it might just be you, Marbles. No one else seems to be getting it. as a catalyst. Oh, fuck. You son of a bitch. That missed. That totally fucking missed. That one didn't open. Head go pop real good tonight. Video freezes, audio uh, keeps fucking fucking podog internet. I know that feeling, man. I've had to deal with podog internet before. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm sorry you're struggling. <laughs> Anything good in here? Looks like the power supply for the elevator. Main fuse is blown out. Switch over. I'm standing in water. I probably shouldn't do that, right? <laughs>
However, this leads back into the kitchen, so I think I have to. Wuss. I mean, usually you don't want to turn on large electrical generators while you're standing in knee-deep water. That's just a dart against safety tip for the night. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Well, that's no, no animation for that whatsoever. Hey, we got the elevator working. Nope, not dealing with you. Fuck. Come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't forget the OSHA PowerPoint. <laughs> exactly. Are you, are you sure my throat is okay? Just like when you talk a lot, you'll be getting a bit of a raspy throat every once in a while. It's pretty normal for me. Lucky, if you start streaming, I'm going to watch you. Yeah, I think you'd be pretty good at it. I'd, I'd raid you. Oh, fucking... God. I don't have any... No, I don't have any shit. I don't have any shit. No! Ah! Oh, the heels were right there. Now I gotta redo some shit. I think the last time I saved was after I killed the snake. Right, died on the hills, chat. Died on the heels. Let me see what my last save was at. Thank you. Thank you for the, the bits. Uh, okay, I, I'll have to actually fight the snake again because that, that room is empty, so I gotta fight. The, yeah, I, sna I saved right before I fought the snake. So that's the only thing I lost was the snake fighting. So I, I might want to actually go down the hole first before I go fight the snake since the snake is so much easier. And you use so much animal without fighting it. However, it is past midnight. I think I might hold off until tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be finishing the game up, though. So, give us a little bit to do. Right at the start of stream and then move on from the mansion to, like, the laboratory stuff. So, yeah. I think we'll call it there, chat. That's a pretty good stopping point. You know, who doesn't like a good, like, humiliating, like, ending to a stream? <laughs> Plus, I got, yeah, as you can hear, my voice is getting a little tired. I gotta put some liquids in it. Uh, but chat, you've all been amazing tonight. Thank you for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, the streams have been really fun recently, so thank you for that. Well, they're always fun, but you know, now that I got two different like streaming communities to like work with, it's like doubled my enjoyment of it. So thank you for that. Also, thank you for any membership subs, gift subs, gift memberships, bits, super chats. Uh, thank you for all that. If you're new to me, watching me on YouTube or Twitch, considering hitting the follow or subscribe button, maybe. You can also join my Discord. There's a link for that down below. And hit that like button. This is a lot of stuff I have to mention now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button, too, on top of everything else I just told you to do. Uh, but yeah, thank you to the mod team as well. And once again, thank you to all of you for hanging out with me tonight. We'll be finishing this game up tomorrow. So one more stream of it, and then we'll put it away. All right, I'm going to like take off now. I wish you all a great night. Uh, enjoy your sleep tonight. Uh, hopefully you you know you all successfully survived uh, yet another solar eclipse. So here's to your bravery. I know it was hard, uh, but I, I I respect you for it. it. Wasn't easy out there today. Oh, 
All right, that was me talking in my coffee mug and it was really creepy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take off now. Later, chat. See you tomorrow.